Hey everyone! Welcome to another Teach and Play. I'm Mandy, also known as Board Gaming Pinup Girl. And I'm Michael, known as Pollum. And I know we've been away for a little while. We have. <laughs> Michael's been sick, yeah. I've been away. And holidays. It's holidays, yeah. so... One Monday, was a, well, one Monday was Christmas, and the other Monday was New Year's, so... Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> it's, it's, I feel like we've been not on for a while, but then you <laughs> all may have seen me on the Board Game Marathon with the Dice Tower, which went mm -hmm. very well. That was a really great experience. It was really nice to interact with everybody uh, all in the same place and interact with the chat. So thank you so yes. much if you mm -hmm. were supporting us by watching or interacting in the chat. Yeah. It was awesome. So thank you so much for that. So, oh boy, Harry Potter. Yes. But we were playing Harry Potter, the monster. <laughs> wait, no, no. no, wait, wait. Harry Potter, Hogwarts Battle, yeah. the monster box of monsters. Expansion. Expansion, yes. sorry. <laughs> I forgot that last word. So <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a long it's a long title, <laughs> and and the game will will live up to that title, I believe. Yes. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so this was published by USAopoly. So hopefully, maybe someone from USAopoly will join us in the chat. If not, we can definitely keep up some Harry Potter banter and other questions in the chat. Yes, I, I brought my one. <laughs> I, I, I was prepared. That's I was okay. prepared. But I did wear my Harry Potter esque glasses. There you so go. There Excellent. we go. I'm Excellent. I'm in the spirit. <laughs> so I guess I will leave it to. Michael, to take okay. over, sure. uh, maybe give a little brief overview. So yeah. this is technically classified as a spoiler in the fact that if you haven't played, um, gotten to the seventh um, year, excuse me, of mm -hmm. uh, the first game, you're going to see some things you haven't seen yet. And then yeah. obviously with the expansion, you're going to see some things you haven't seen yet. So this is where I tell you, if you do not want to see any of those things, mm -hmm. now would be the time to stop watching. Exactly. I would love you to watch, but I get it. Yep. All right. I've given the warning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, when you are playing with the expansion box, they do say to use everything from the base game. So you are going to see everything from the base game. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do the regular teach fully because we've already taught how to play the base game. So I'm just going to cover what the differences are between base and the expansion. I'll quickly get you all caught up because you saw us play uh, years one and two or game one and two from the base box. So I'll cover what boxes three, four, five, six, and seven have added to the game, because you're going to see all of that in here. Mm -hmm. And then I'll cover what the expansion then adds on top of that. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a tough one. I think I'll go right into what the, the boxes yes. added. So That's the first guess. thing in uh, the base box three, it added character abilities. So we had, when you saw games one and two, we only had basic characters uh, yeah. we only had basic character cards but now now this is a little different this is actually from box one in the expansion but there were different abilities that were unique to each character right. <clears throat> so that's what the third box added and throughout the game they even leveled up as well so you had some base uh, base abilities and then I think uh, a little later they got a little stronger, and then for the last game, they got even stronger, and now they're just modified slightly for the expansion box. Box four brought something that's quite fun. <clears throat> These nice chunky dice. There are four dice in the game. You've got a green die, that, and each one represents a different, a different house. So the green die represents Slytherin, the red die is Gryffindor, yellow is Hufflepuff, and then blue is Ravenclaw. Now, each die specializes in one of the four elements. So for example, the, let's see here, let's go with Slytherin. <laughs> Slytherin specializes in attack. So you've got three sides that cover attack. So you've got a 50% chance of getting attack on that. And then the other three sides cover the other three elements. So this will be getting, gaining influence, gaining health, and drawing a card. And when you roll these, everybody gets that benefit. So then if you were to look at one of the other ones, for example, Hufflepuff specializes in gaining health. So you've got three sides that are health, and then the other three sides are the other three elements. So each die has a 50-50 chance of getting whatever its specialized ability is. So what I like to do when I'm setting up these dice is have the side that it specializes in on top until you get comfortable with which die gives you which specialty. 
So I like having these like this. So while you're doing that, I yes. notice people are, first of all, let's address the flu. That is like a thing this year everywhere. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I, I know you suffered at my workplace. I haven't, knock on wood, you know, gotten it yet. So, but I'm, it's terrible this year. So yeah, I was, I was out for a week. So I apologize for last week having to be canceled. I was, I was really hoping I was going to make it and yeah it didn't work out that well no, so it's been rough no i was I, I was out for a week with that so yeah and also i see people talking about their houses hufflepuff in the house <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have distinct teams I going know. here i see we? some <laughs> slytherin in there excellent where excellent. are my hufflepuffs at <laughs> and and also you know what it is our first stream since well for a month uh, happy new year everybody yes I it's know, a little late but yeah it's it's our first time to actually say happy new year to everybody so happy new year <laughs> so yes that is what uh, box four brought mm -hmm. that was one of the main things from box four the uh, the dice and we will be making full <laughs> use of those uh box five brought us our first major battle in the villain deck in the form of lord voldemort is there a best place to watch the stream um if you watch it on youtube there will be a slight delay mm -hmm. if you watch it on twitch it's pretty close to actual yeah, time yeah so if that helps a little bit. And that's just a YouTube thing. We find that YouTube is just 20 to 30 seconds behind usually. Right. Yeah. So if you want to see it right as we're doing it, Twitch is the way to go. If you don't mind a delay, which you probably wouldn't know unless we're referring to something specific, yeah. then YouTube would be fine. Yeah. The, the only real way you would notice is if you're commenting in chat and waiting for a response on YouTube then your comment will be on a delay getting to us or you getting the response from us kind of thing. And no, I did not get it from Tom. Thank goodness. I was like, stay away. <laughs> <laughs> and for any new viewers as well, because we are streaming simultaneously to Twitch and YouTube, you'll notice the comments are actually uh, amalgamated. You do get comments from both. It'll just say that it's uh, board game or pinup being pushed one way or the right. other. Yeah. So oh. this is the board. Yes, it does come in. The box. This comes yep. in, the original, in the original, the box. base, the yes. base game. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt there. No, uh, no problem. Okay. <laughs> so yes, Lord Voldemort was introduced in Game Five, and this is the Game Five version that we're playing with. I'm going to cover that in a bit. But Lord Voldemort from Box Five forward, or Game Five in the base, uh, moving forward, is your final battle in each game. He's going to go to the bottom of the deck. I'll cover how you set that up for the first game of the expansion in a second. So that was box five, introduced that. Uh, then we've got box six, the main thing was proficiency cards. Ooh. So normally at the top, you only had your character card and the turn order card to remind you of the order of a turn. Box six brought us proficiency cards. And I think there were nine in the box, I believe. And we got to pick the proficiency that we wanted. Now in this case, I actually did pick the one that has the picture of Hermione Granger yes, on it, say. that, that <laughs> is purely it. coincidence. You didn't have to match them up. Uh, there are nine different abilities you choose, or I believe it's nine, that you can choose from. So for example, for mine, cards that let you roll a house die, and that's the dice that I was showing here, mm -hmm. cost one less influence to acquire. So when I go to purchase them, it costs one less. And each time I roll a die, I can re-roll it once. So as we're playing, I'm going to be looking to make use of that ability as best possible and trying to get as many of the die cards into my hand. Mm -hmm. The ability you're working with, may I? Yes. Or proficiency, I, I should say. This is the Defense <laughs> Against the Dark Arts. Yes. And with that proficiency, each time a Dark Arts event or villain causes you to discard a card, you gain attack and health. Very handy. So it, uh, it kind of negates the downside of having to discard, especially when you can discard cards that even gain you another benefit on top of that for discarding it. All right, so that was box six. Box seven in the base set brought on uh, Horcrux cards and Horcrux tokens. So there are, and I'm gonna just show these overhead because it'll be easier than trying yes. to get these into the close-up camera. There are these four tokens representing each of the four different elements that you can get on the dice. And these were used to try and defeat Horcrux cards that we're in the middle of the in the middle of the board. Now, in this case, we are not using the Horcrux cards because we have events um, or sorry encounters that we're using from the first uh, the first box of the expansion. So, to answer uh, Brandon's questions, is a Gameopoly production. So, USAopoly is the publisher. Mm -hmm. So, they're the ones that have put that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, so because we have been through, and I showed this when we did our last teach and play of the base game, because we have been through the entire base game box, there in the back of the manual, they have, that's where you've got the spots to put all of the um, rules and little pamphlets from each expansion box. So if you ever needed to look up, uh, look up something, all of the elements are there. But now we are going on to the expansion. So Ooh, boy. the expansion brings, let's go to the bad side first. There are a stack of what's called detention cards. So this is, there's a stack of 20 of them there and they're all face up because you're not going to choose to put this into your deck. There are going to be situations where you're forced to put a detention card into your deck and this just serves as filler. It's going to be things that you do not wish to draw. And what it says on the card is if you discard it, you lose two health. So you're gonna be stuck with these in your hand. Now, when it says discard, it's if you actually physically discard it due to another, uh, another effect that lets you discard cards, you would lose two health. If you do not play it at the end of your turn, it just goes to your discard pile. That is not considered discarding it though. You don't suffer the effect at that point. So those are there because they will probably end up in our deck. Uh, it's similar to something like trains, if anybody's played that. The uh, the trash cards, I think they're called, or scrap, or something mm -hmm. like that, garbage cards, that just kind of start to clog up your deck. Now, the upside to this is, because there are now ways to clog up your deck, that also means there are ways to thin your deck. And this is the first time that's been uh, introduced into the Harry Potter card game. Uh, there is a... There is a, uh, an element called Banish, mm -hmm. which lets you remove cards permanently from your deck. So it's a way to get rid of those detention cards or even to get rid of the base cards that you start with. Because in the base box, there was no way to remove those cards to thin it out and make it a more, uh, a more efficient deck. So just interrupted, William mm -hmm. has a question. Sure. Um, William, yep. How much harder does the game get when you advance through the game? Also, is the expansion much harder from the base game? Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> We actually did have a great run. I've been through the base game twice, once all the way through with Mandy and once all the way through with another friend. Both times through went undefeated. From what I'm hearing though, yeah. that is not the norm. I've heard a lot of people say that it really starts to get difficult at, at uh, game five and six and it just kind of ramps up from there. So we did go through the entire base game undefeated. Yay. Yahoo! Our first play of the expansion, <laughs> oh, that was quite the opposite effect. That was, uh, we were taught a lesson there. We, uh, we were sent to detention. We were taught a lesson. It, yeah. Uh, but then we played it again and we got the win. So we're 50-50 we're on the expansion. There's no guarantee on a win this <laughs> evening. We yeah. will see. Cross your fingers, but yeah. <laughs> and like I always say for the live plays, we're here to teach you how to play, not necessarily how to play well. So we'll, we'll do our best. We'll try no. and save Hogwarts. Have you guys done a Pathfinder Skulls and Shackles? Night Dragon 669 is asking. No. We haven't. No. But uh, that's interesting. From the, same, from the same maker, we did do Apocrypha. Right. Uh, from Mike Selinker. Uh, we have not gone back to look at uh, older games like uh, like that, no. But, but that's, an, but and I should have said this up from the beginning, we have an email. I'm going to get it wrong. You no, you'll get it. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Michael and Mandy play. Yay! Mandy and Michael play at gmail.com. So if there's a game that you would like to see. You had like it right the first see, time. You reversed it the second did time. Did I? Sorry. Yeah. Michael, Michael and, and Mandy, Mandy play, play at gmail.com. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> if there's a game you'd like to see and we're able to either obtain it or we have it, we will definitely do that for you. So send us an email at that email and yep. um, we'll definitely take a look. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What else have we got? We've got the tension cards. Uh, encounters. So the way encounters are going to work, this is something you wouldn't have seen in our first video of it. There are going to be effects and requirements on each card. So in this case, we've got three cards we need to defeat. So I'll show you the first one. And I'll show you the rest as we get to them. First one is Pesca Pisc no, hold on. Pesca Pixie <laughs> Pesternomy. There we go. So this one has an effect that potentially triggers at the end of each round. I'll read that out to you, but that's what the encounter cards are going to look like. And the effect on this is at the end of each turn, if the hero, if the active hero has four health or less, they only draw four cards instead of five. So if you're weak, you're just that little bit weaker. The way to get rid of this, so if you, I'll show you the encounter card again. 
So it has the ongoing effect text box here. It has the to defeat or to complete here. And if you do complete it, then it has a reward at the bottom. So in this case, for us to get rid of this card, we have to play two cards with an even influence value in one turn. And influence is the currency in the game that you use to purchase cards from the market. Yes. So one of us needs to play two cards with an even influence value in one turn. If we do that, then this event will or encounter will get removed and the reward will be each time you play a card with an even value, any one hero gains one health. And the key to that is remembering. <laughs> <laughs> We've had that card before, obviously when we play through it before. And you forget. Yeah, sometimes we forget that that's available. <clears throat> and it's whoever actually does play it will get that card in their play area. So someone asked if this is available at Cool Stuff. So unfortunately, because I don't live in the States, I don't generally check Cool Stuff. Mm -hmm. However, I was just there recently, um, and I was poking around the website. As far as I know, it is one they carry. I just don't know if it's in stock, but it is one that it should be available, because I know we have it on the Canadian websites as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, also here, uh, we have, oh, I'm kind of blind here, Alms, what does that say? Alms HVN. I played one deck dungeon eight times since seeing your stream of it, and I nice. haven't beat it yet. Oh. So, not in campaign <laughs> mode. Yeah, don't worry, as you saw from our stream. <laughs> yeah, our first, uh, yeah, yeah, you've seen the stream, so you saw what happened on the first play. Didn't do so well yep. the first showing. <laughs> we, we showed in a very quick fashion how to lose. So <laughs> we got that covered, no problem, but uh, I'm glad we were able to play it again immediately and, and get the win as well. So yeah, it is possible. Yeah, so that's <laughs> awesome though. I'm so glad you were able to play it. Yes, excellent. And one more thing, of mm -hmm. course, what is the drink of the evening? Yes, the themed beverage is, uh, it's a replay of the previous stream for Harry Potter. It's called Teacher's Pet, which in and of itself is thematic because we're trying to protect Hogwarts, uh, the, the school. Um, but it's even more thematic in the fact that it's a whiskey-based drink, and I'm using White Owl Whiskey in honor of uh, Hedwig, the uh, the White Owl. <laughs> Almost heaven. Owl. Thank you. These are new glasses. I swear they're making me go cross-eyed. <laughs> so thank you for the clarification. Someone has a question. We don't necessarily sure. have to answer it right at this minute. Yep. Uh, maybe at the end. But what are some of your favorite games for two players from the last few months? So maybe we'll get into this okay. first. Yeah. But we see your question, so so thank you for that, and we'll get the game going, and then maybe once some come to mind, we'll kind of throw that in there yeah, for you. sounds good. Okay. Okay, so I've covered the events, uh, encounters, I've covered the detention. There are a lot of new cards in the um, in the Hogwarts deck. Mm -hmm. I'll show just a side view, I've already got this all shuffled, but... Yeah, it's a lot. There are a lot of cards, because every box that you open just adds to that. And <laughs> there are a lot of Dark Arts cards. So originally, I think that started with 10 cards, I think, in box one. We are now up to, I wrote that down, 49. We're wow. up to 49 Dark Arts cards in here. And of course, none of those are going to be good. Uh, and then let's see here, three locations. So in box one of the expansion, we've got three locations. I'll show the first one. This is what we're trying to protect, and I'll quickly show how this is going to work. So, we are trying to protect the castle gates, and this requires five control tokens for the villains to control it. We will be drawing one Dark Arts card every round. For now. For now. For now, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lastly, difference between base and expansion. First off, there is a fifth character that you can play as. We are not, but Luna Lovegood Luna. becomes a playable character. And there are two cards that actually get swapped out. And these are the villain cards. So the villain cards, Dementor and Basilisk, actually get swapped out for two new versions of them. The effects and pictures, everything on it are identical, but they are given keywords that are slightly different. So I'll show the top there. So Dementor and Basilisk, Basilisk in the base game are both villains, but now they are what's called uh, creature villains. Because we do have creatures in here, after all this is the Hogwarts Battle Monster Box of Monsters expansion, so you know there's going to be monsters. <laughs> yes, almost heaven. Luna is my fave too, but I thought we'd mix it up a little. So to set this up, 
everything is pretty straightforward. You're shuffling all of the Hogwarts cards together, all of the Dark Arts cards together. You've got the three locations from box one from the expansion, the three encounters from box one, and then the way you set up the villain deck, you will be grabbing, mm -hmm. so I'll show him again, you will be grabbing the game five, and it says in the corner here, game he five, shall not be named. version of, I'm going to say it, no! Lord Voldemort. Ah! <laughs> So you do grab him, <laughs> and he goes face up at the bottom of the stack. And then in this stack is going to be all of the added creatures and villain creatures. So there are six of them from box one in the expansion, and then five random villains from the base game. So that makes up 11 cards here, plus Lord Voldemort. So you've got 12 villains you need to get through. And just like any other game, we're trying to defeat all villains before they control all three locations. So we are going to start with, and this will be new to anybody that uh, only Ew. watched our first one, we actually need to take care of three villains at a time. <sighs> Yikes! I think uh, both box one, or game one and two were, was just uh. one villain, I think, wasn't it? Maybe two in Maybe box two. two I, yeah, it's been a while since we've done yeah, that. Yeah, it's been a while. I, think, I feel like three potentially may have came out at some point. But. And right away, so here's what I was saying, actually, because it is one of the first cards out. I can show you an exact comparison. So here's the Basilisk. So the top version is the base game version, just says villain. The bottom one says uh, villain creature. So there are key words there that uh, will come into play. And I'll only cover the new ones. We've already seen uh, Quirinus Quirrell. Yes, Professor from Quirrell. Before. Mm. Here's another creature, Norbert. Norbert. <laughs> I love it. Now, this is a little different. This has a, a an influence value on the bottom, as opposed to regular creatures or villains that have the health value. Health, you nor normally use attack to defeat them until you put in, uh, this, that required amount on it, whereas this, you can only use influence, and you can only put one influence per round to get rid of this, which means at minimum, Norbert is sticking around for six rounds because we can only put one influence uh, on he's at a time. Hardy, darn it. <laughs> and his ability states active hero loses one health plus one additional health for each detention in hand. Yeah. We do not start with any detention cards, but as I said, there's a stack of 20 of them just waiting to be handed <laughs> They're out. They're waiting yeah. to come out. <laughs> so we've got that. We've got active hero loses one health from Queer and Quirrell, and heroes cannot draw extra cards. So one of the key things is decide what is the most important thing to target, <laughs> but we'll get into that as we start playing. Yeah. Next is going to be the market, so I've already got this shuffled. Yes. Okay. All right. Ooh, I see some good things out there. Uh, now, one of the things that I did mention in our first teach and play for the base game was what was a an approved method of play, approved by the creators, uh, where if you wanted to, if you were stuck with a market that was giving you a hard time, you could opt to wipe the market, throw them at the bottom, and get a fresh one. You could do that once. That is now actually in the printed manual for the expansion. They do say that that is, that is a version that is quite okay, because there are sometimes instances, like for example, here's a great card. It's from game seven of the, the base box. Mm -hmm. It is the Sword of Gryffindor. But you'll see that's got a really high cost of seven. And if you end up with a market that is all high cost cards really early, that is almost guaranteed game uh, over. Because yeah. there's no <laughs> way to get your deck built and going. We learned that the hard way. Yeah, we, we did. Actually, that's how we lost the first yep. one. Was we, we tried to fight through it to see. Let's see if it can be done. Right. Uh, it couldn't be done. <laughs> we we could not actually get through that. Oh, that's my deck. So what you're allowed to do, and they do say once per game, you can wipe the entire market, throw the cards at the bottom, and bring out six new ones. So that's a way to get, get rid of that sticking point if you end up with a really expensive market too early. Okay, I, I think, think that's we're... enough talking. I think we're good to go. I will start off with a small disclaimer. Mm -hmm. As the game gets going, yes, there is a lot happening. So if we tend to miss something, please point it out. Absolutely. Because there are a lot of things happening. So we will try mm -hmm. and make sure that we are physically doing every step so you can see it. But if we do yep. miss something, by all means, totally let us know. Yep. And we'll talk through it as well. Yes. And uh, 
you know, I've, I've made comments like this on previous videos. Sometimes it is easy to miss a little thing here or there, <laughs> but uh, when doing it live and trying to pay attention to chat and teach and all of that. But the, the flip side of that is we've got a live chat here to help us. So if you see us miss something, feel free, chat it out. So Jack talked, okay, and actually I wasn't gonna talk about this unless someone brought it up. So okay. <laughs> Jack is, <laughs> hopefully I like this better than watch, uh, playing Doctor Who. So okay. <laughs> we had to talk about this. <laughs> So thematic games are always hard, as you all know, because if someone's not really in on a lot of the content, you know, sometimes you don't get the private jokes. Like I love Firefly and playing that with a friend. They kind of go, eh, because they're not really tied to the theme. I love Harry Potter. So this could probably be the worst game in the world and I'd probably still have some right. tie to it because I love Harry Potter. Yep. It just so happens that I actually really like Harry Potter and I like the way the game plays, even though I'm not a huge deck builder fan. So for me, I really enjoyed this. You know, so it was a lot easier for me to become involved. Not that it wasn't terrible. It's just for me, sometimes I know Robert and Derek had something, you know, they'd make a reference to something in Doctor and I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking. Yeah. It just went right over yeah. my head. So I almost feel a little bit disconnected. The game itself was fine, but if I wanted a game like that, I, I own Elder Sign and I feel it had that kind of vibe to it. So for me, I'm good. So I didn't mean it to seem super painful for anybody, but it definitely was a game that I was happy to play for a short period. Right. <laughs> so I hope that helps. <laughs> now, you were saying that you, because this is Harry Potter, you would probably enjoy this even if there wasn't necessarily a game there, but I think we've come to the conclusion there is very much a game here. Oh no, this is just definitely has yeah. a game, so it's not we, even we just We have been here. enjoying this. Uh, we both felt the same way when we first saw it, not enjoying the movie art. Yeah, oh, that was right. the first thing I said. Because when I when I see that, the first thing I think is uh, they're just slapping a license on that. Right. How good is the game actually going to be? Right. There yeah. is a good game here. If you only play the first couple games in the base box, you're going to find that is way too easy. Keep going. It's yeah. got a slow build to it that does start to ramp up towards 5, 6, and 7. But because of that, you can teach this to pretty much anybody. It is a great first deck builder type game. Right. Because it starts from the basics and just adds one element every every time you open a new box. And before you know it, you're playing a rather complex deck builder, uh, cooperative deck builder. So. And something I'd also like to touch on, I, I talk about it, and I'm very open about it. So I suffer from ADHD and a little bit of anxiety. So sometimes when people are doing rules explanation, I'm one of those that may not look you right in the eye, but I'm listening. So usually, and Michael knows this when we play games together, he's got like a mm -hmm. five to 10 minute window and then the mind starts wandering. <laughs> I need to start playing the game before I can actually physically understand it. So. Just in case people thought that I wasn't listening, I was, but I'm the type of person I need to play it in order to learn it. We all have different learning styles. That's mine. Robert knows we're really good friends. So just wanted to talk about Doctor Who because I feel a lot of people were confused about that game. So I didn't hate it. It just, it was super thematic and I felt like it's one of those games if you were a Doctor Who fan, you might appreciate it a little bit more. But like I said, I have Elder Sign and I think for me that's, I'm good with that. <laughs> all right. We ready to go? All right. Ready. I think I've Doctor Hooted to death. Okay. So. <laughs> We're going to Harry Potter it. Shall I start? No. Yes. We didn't really discuss who's going to start, but nope. you can go I ahead. know you tend to not like going first. I hate so. going first. Okay. So I'll just, I'll <laughs> hop right in. So in terms of how the order works, I'll just kind of quickly go through the order. Uh, we, we did teach this in the base, but basically you start with the dark arts, drawing however many numbers are required, and the location will tell you how many you need. Sometimes there are other elements that will tell you need to draw additional. We are okay right now. So I will be starting with one Dark Arts card. Oh, Jack, don't apologize. Don't worry. I, I, honestly, if somebody else brought it up, I would have talked about it. It's important. So thank you, actually, for mentioning it. And we do have a question. Sure. Uh, once you've gone through all the boxes and played through, replayability. I mean, I would be more than happy to play this it's again. It's as replayable as any other deck builder. Um, it's not, you know, it's not heavily story driven where once you know the story, you can't play the game. Right. It is still a very good cooperative deck builder. Uh, you wouldn't go back to games one or two because those are really basic. But once you've played through all seven boxes, you can still play at that game seven. And some people do need to continue to play. Cause, like I said, we got through the whole set undefeated, but that is not, from what I'm hearing, that is not the norm. So right. some people will be playing this more just to try and get that win. Um, but yeah, it's it's as replayable as anything like you know Hero Realms or Star Realms or anything like that, except on the cooperative side of things as opposed to competitive. I totally played again, and I'm one of those people. Yep. I read a book once. I don't I don't really need to read it again. Yep. Same thing. With, I mean, games are a bit different, but something like this, which has a bit of that story to it, I would still play it again, even yeah. though we've beaten it. No, it's yeah. still it's a great challenge every time you go to play yeah. it. So yep. yeah. Okay. Okay. okay so drawing my dark arts card. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I have I Imperio. 
Sorry, I'm a little so behind I'm not going to show all of these, but I'll show the first one, and then I'll show anything that is new that you may not have seen in the first ones, if I can remember which ones had not been played before. So Imperial Dark Arts will have uh, the effect down below, and in this case, Active Hero chooses another hero to lose two health. Oh, well, gee, I wonder who I'm that going is. To choose you. <laughs> but the real pain to this is at the bottom. It says reveal in another reveal another Dark Arts event, so I have to take a second one. Oh dear. Blast ended. This is a new one, and this is from the expansion. Yeah. There we go. Uh, it's a, a very fiery end yeah. there. Yeah, it's blast super ended. Like yeah, just blown out in the in the in the camera. The previous hero loses one health and discards a card. So going backwards around the table, that would also be you. Wow, I don't <laughs> think I like where this is going. Now, not too bad because you discarded a card. Your proficiency. Well, that's right. So I lose one and discard a card. Oh, yep. geez, Louise. Okay, so let's discard that. Mm -hmm. And each time a dark arts event or villain causes you to discard a card, yep. I gain some damage here. And, sorry, damage that I can give to somebody yep. else. And attack. <laughs> attack. That's yep. the word I'm looking for. And I also and gain health. a health. So in terms of discarding oh. the card, we'd actually prefer that Mandy is the one to discard because she does have that proficiency where if something forces her to discard, then she actually gains something out of it, which is great. Yes. So then we have to look at, after you've resolved the dark arts, you need to then look at the villains that are up and the encounter that is up as well. So I cannot draw cards. That's fine. Active hero loses one, so I do lose one. And active hero loses one plus an additional one for each detention in hand. Well, mm. I don't have any detentions yet, but I do lose one. The uh, encounter I've already covered, that will only be triggering at the end of our turn and only if we have four or fewer health. And if that's the case, then we only get to draw four instead of five cards at the oh end of our dear. turn. Oh, dear. So that's everything there resolved. So now I get to actually play. <laughs> Do you really? No, I'm joking. So we've got one, two, three, four. And I've said this before in the other video. I'll say it again now. It is a very good habit to get into uh, grabbing the tokens. Mm -hmm. you know, when you first start, you've got four to spend. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to be spending four. But there are ways, this isn't like most deck builders, there are actually ways that you can get these elements outside of your turn. And it can be quite easy to lose track of how many you have and how many you need. And so it's a great habit to get into using these tokens. <clears throat> so I get those and then I can choose to gain one attack or two health with Crookshanks. It's pretty early. I'm gonna go for the attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's a mm, bit of a situation down here. And I'm playing four more spells my ability with Hermione Granger in the expansion is if I play four or more spells on my turn, any two heroes gain one attack. So we each gain another attack. Yahoo! Thank you. And before I go any further, what is the ability that Ron has? So if you assign three or more attack and or influence, it is influence, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been playing so many games. Yep. Okay, so if you assign three or more attack and or influence on your turn, all heroes gain one health. Nice. Okay. Still catching up on sleep from that marathon. <laughs> so first off, I do have two attack to assign. Let's see, who's the worst? I'm thinking the yeah, card draw. I we think don't so. have any ways to draw cards now, but there are many ways to draw cards with the, the cards that we can purchase. So the sooner we can get rid of that Basilisk, I think the better. So Agreed. I'm going to assign two attack there. Okay. And that leaves me with four to spend. So this... You've got the die. Yep, so ability. I could get that one cheaper. Chocolate Frog, any one hero gains one influence and one health. If you discard this, you gain an influence and a health. You've got Spell for two. So quite a, a quick bit of strategy, what we're going to be trying to aim for here. Hermione shines with spells. Because her ability is, if I play four or more in a turn, then we're each going to gain an additional attack, which is fantastic. So I want to trigger that as often as possible. I'll be looking to get spells. My proficiency lets me get anything that lets me roll a die, one influence cheaper, and it lets me re-roll a die as well whenever I have to roll one, which mm -hmm. is great. So, having said that, uh, for you, you're going to be looking for allies. Right. Right. Ron seems to shine with allies and also with attack because right. the attack that, uh, or the, the ability he has deals with attack. When he's dealing a bunch of attack, then mm -hmm. we're also going to get to heal up at the same time. So that's kind of what we're going for. Uh, and I think... I might go for him. Let's yeah. get a die roll in early. So that's going to cost me three. So I'll show that quickly. Here's what I'm purchasing. So it is an ally. Now, normally, most of these I'm going to want to go to Mandy. But because it does have the ability to roll a die on it, 
I'm getting it one cheaper, and whenever I do roll a die, I'll get to re-roll it if I want. Purchase a card, it goes into your discard pile. Nothing else that has played has been played goes into your discard until the end of your turn during cleanup. That leaves me one to spend, which there's nothing I can buy for one. Yep. This does not refresh until the end of your turn as well. So it's not like you can buy one like in other deck builders where you buy a card and it immediately refreshes. It doesn't refresh until the end of your turn. So that's when we would then look at the location. They obviously don't have control over that. Uh, these are done. That'll go into my discard. This will get refreshed. Mm -hmm. And if there were any tokens left on my board, be they attack or influence, you cannot hold on to those. They would get discarded. But you can hold on to tokens you receive outside of your turn until the end of your turn. Over to Mandy. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, let's hopefully this isn't too horrible. Event, Inquisitorial Squad. Active hero puts a detention in their hand. Oh, there and it is right all away. All heroes lose one health for each detention in hand. Ah, well, okay. that would be me. Yeah, so first part is that goes into hand. Then all heroes lose one for each detention. That's the first one that we've actually received. Yes. Uh, before we go any further, yes. here's one of the new cards. Turgio. It's one of the spell cards. It's a cheap one, and it only gains you one influence, but it's the ability on the bottom that is most important. You may banish a card in your hand. If it is an item, draw a card. Looking kind of good right now. The detention cards are indeed items. So obviously that's what you're going to be wanting to use those for, is to get those out of your hand, because one, you don't want detentions clogging up your deck. Two, it's an item, which means you'll immediately get to draw another one. So. Yeah. Well, Fleur de la Creux is looking kind of good, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Sure. All right, so we've done that. This is not going to happen yet. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay, so I cannot draw extra cards. That's, That's fine. fine. Active hero loses one. Wow. Active hero loses one, plus an additional one health for each detention. One, okay. two. Wow. Which also means, unless you heal up one, because yep. Mandy's down to four... That's going to trigger That's the encounter, happen. which means she'll only be able to draw four cards. Wow! But that doesn't take it. That doesn't take effect until the end of the round, so she still has a chance to heal up. Well, we'll just kind of toss that out there because it really doesn't do anything. That's my detention card, mm -hmm. and then I have actually. Let's do the item clean sweep eleven, which gives me a uh, attack. Yep. But I'm not defeating a villain, nope. so the second portion of that card will not actually happen. So let us, let me just get these all sorted here. So that gives me three influence. Mm -hmm. So before I forget, let's uh, throw some attack over at the Basilisk. Yep. Okay, and that brings us up to five. And before you go any further, yes. how much attack did you just assign? I did three! Yes. So, so that means I gain a health. Ron's ability, I think all we both heroes. do, right? Yep. So all we all gain, gain a which health. now puts Mandy above that four health Woo! point threshold. Yes. <laughs> so let's see what I can buy with my three. Wow. So. That's kind of good, but I really want my palsy juice. I just don't want that lingering, but... That is a good one for you. I think that might be good. I mean, these will continue to come out, but uh, what do you think? I don't know. So what we're looking at, <clears throat> as I said, Manny's going to be looking to try and get allies. That's the, one of her main focuses. And this item is the Polyjuice Potion. And I'll give that a quick little peek there. <laughs> Almost heaven. Oui, je parle français, et vous? <laughs> <laughs> and the ability on this is choose an ally you have played this turn. You may copy the effects of that ally, which is a great one, especially for somebody that's focusing on allies. Yeah. So, so having said that, you have the three. Yeah, say, I think let's just spend it, not yep. waste it. And hello, Nerfenstein, for joining us. Well, it's been a while, I feel. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to grab that. That's Does this mean go. you're skipping out on work? <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to happen. One of our Australian viewers. I'm at five, so this doesn't happen. Correct. And I draw back up to, oh, look at that, five. All okay. right, cool. Oh, and we got a refill. Over to me. Yes. So we've got Dark Arts card first. <laughs> Flipendo. Active hero loses one and discards a card. So I lose one and I have to discard something. Hmm. All right, so I'll get rid of one of my basic spells. And that is going to leave me. Hmm. <laughs> one, two, three. Did you do all these already? Start. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I okay. know. There's so much we just want to get <laughs> we ahead. We just want to play. <laughs> okay, so I can't draw. That's fine. I yeah. lose one. And then I lose one plus each any. detention, but I don't have it. Right. Any. Okay. There we go. Now you're good. 
Now I'm hurt and I'm good. All right. So I gain one, two, three. And then I have some flexibility here with Beetle the Bard, which lets me gain two or all heroes gain one. This is a card that is not that strong in a two-player game because all heroes gaining one, in this case, is still just a total of two. Right. But if you're playing a four-player a four game, Great. that would be much stronger to get four influence out as opposed to just the two to myself. But it's still some flexibility. If I don't need the two, then I can give one to Mandy for her next turn. Mm-hmm. And then the, one of the other basic cards that I'm playing right now is my Time Turner. Uh, I gain one influence from it, which I've already collected, and I can put spells that I acquire on top of my deck instead of into my discard pile. So I'm going to get them on my next turn. So that's another synergy with, with Hermione and spells. She, she really thrives on spells. So I have no attack. That's fine. I've got three. So I've got four or five to spend. There so. are... Oh, if I had six, I'd I be know. able to afford that. Get that one. So right now it's spells. We've got two, but I think there are ones removing um, from the location, moving a token oh, from the location. Oh, that would be good. And this one's a choose two influence or draw a card, but that would be a total of six, and they're both spells. Yeah, they so. would both go on top of my deck. Right. Uh, uh, or that's true. Or this one, gaining an influence, you may banish a card in your hand. You don't have it yet, but chances I are you're going to get it. But them. I can still get rid of the basic cards right. as well. Right. That's also true. And they will both go on top of my deck. This, I think, is key. Yes. So I am going to get Finite, which is remove one control token from the location. You would have seen that in the base game playthrough. Very key element to this game is trying to keep control over those control tokens. Because mm -hmm. that's how the villains win the game. And if you can remove those, that, uh, that helps you immensely. So I'll take that for three. And that still leaves me the two or one right. from this. And actually, that goes on top of my draw pile. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Should I leave that for you or take it? I mean... I'll be losing an influence if I don't take it. Right. So, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, I think you're going to get better value out of this one. I've only got two to spend. Oh, you've only basically, got two to spend. Basically, I have two from this. Or one and one goes to you. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Then maybe you should take this yeah. one. I think that might be the best thing. And you can start thinning out your hand a little bit. Yeah. Another one will come up. There are a few in the deck. Yeah. I say that now okay. and watch one not come out. So for that'll me. also go on top of my deck because it is a spell and I have my time turner. That is all my money spent. I am above the four threshold for yes. the encounter. That is me. Yes. Oh, lots of allies coming out. Wow. All allies and they're really expensive. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see how this we can make this work. All right. Oh. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> okay. He who must not be named. Yeah. Add one token to the location. There it is. That's one of six. Right. One of five. Okay. So it's not too bad. This is not going to happen. Heroes draw extra cards. That's not going to happen. I will lose one. And then I will lose an additional one. But I do not have any detention cards in hand, so that's where that ends. Wow, this is not looking good. So hopefully you can get two health somehow. Well, that is doable. I just okay. feel like it's a bit of a waste, but nonetheless. So let's play these. So that's going to give me three influence. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we're going to play, well, I can get two health from Pigwidgeon. Yes, which will put which me will put you above. where I need to be. Yeah. And then by playing this card, my mm. Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans, I can gain mm. an influence. And then for each ally played, I gain an attack token. So I'm going to show that. It is a this base game card. Yep. It's, there you go. it's from the base deck. But this is important for Mandy's uh, mm -hmm. strategy here, which is to do with allies. And this one, every ally she plays is going to award her a benefit of more attack on the turn that she plays this card. Yes. So there we go. So, so now I have a total of allies. four to spend, which I'm thinking... Oh, yeah. Hmm. Fleur is going to give me gain two influence. If you play another ally, also gain two health. Mm. That's kind of big right now, especially yep. with this being on the table. And something I'm just realizing is we yep. still need to put influence here. Yes. I Go ahead and buy that because right. we can. Right, but we can ignore sure. that but for too long. But we need to remember that, yeah. So that's all four spent here. And also I will place this attack here. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six. We still need two more. Almost there. Almost there. And then these will 
Go away. And you got over the four threshold again, so that's good. By the skin of my teeth, but yes. <laughs> oh, that's a good card, but it's also expensive. Oh, okay. seven. Why so I feel like we're we are now down. looking at seven, seven, and six. And you can see where we now have fewer and fewer options because we don't have strong decks yet to get a lot of influence to be able to buy those expensive cards. So that's where if you got a market that was locked down with expensive ones, you might take that opportunity, that one-time opportunity, to wipe it and then draw fresh ones. Can I tell you how much I forgot about that card? <laughs> yeah, that's why I wanted to actually remind you because I'm reminding myself as so, well. I yeah. had forgot about we it as well. We need to deal with that for sure. So maybe that would have been an option when I had those two the to spend extra, yeah. or one for me, one for you. I could have put the one there. Because mm -hmm. again, with influence being assigned, I'll show that once more because this is Easy. completely new and more of a reminder to us. With influence being assigned to these creatures, you can only assign one at a time each round. Right, so it's going to take a while. Okay, here we go. Dark Arts. So, Dark Arts, Arts first. Mosmodre. All heroes lose one and add one to the location. Oh, for goodness sakes. Add one control token to control the location. Token, yes. I'm going to use all my words. I'm not going to use short form like we normally do when we're playing. I know. Uh, okay. Okay. That's the only one I need to draw, so that's fine. I cannot draw cards. I lose one health here, and I lose one health there. I do not have any detention cards yet. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's low. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see here. Well, we know I have Finite, which mm -hmm. lets me remove a control token from uh, location to because I just bay. purchased that, so mm -hmm. that's good. I do have the ability to banish a card, but I think in this case I'm going to hold off because that gains one, two, three influence. Mm -hmm. And that is now four spells being played, which triggers Hermione's ability where everybody gets an ah, attack. Ah, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Which puts us within range of killing him off. <sighs> and then I get one more with my time turner. Right. And I get to put any spells on top of my deck. I've got four influence. That's the only spell. At three, and then you can place yeah. one here. I could also get Cho Chang for three as well, because she rolls a die. Oh. But we're short on allies, so. So this is a good point. So yep. um, it's Herner, Verzog. Uh, it doesn't have the base game, because mm -hmm. um, it's difficult to get. Yep. Uh, do you think it's the kind of expansion you could buy with the base game and mix it straight away? Mm. No. I think this, it would be difficult. It would be a lot of things to try and learn all at the same time. Yeah. Now, if you've played deck builders before, and I'm sure, sure most people watching have played deck builders before, um, the deck building aspect would not be the issue. It's all of the extra elements that are added right. into this game that might be a little overwhelming for a first play, especially because the the first game in this, like I said, that's the first one we've lost. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are having some difficulties with some of the higher games in the base box, you know, game five, six, seven. Right. Um, but they do say in the base game, if you are experienced with deck builders, you can skip to game three and start there. So you would shuffle all three boxes together and start at game three. I think if you started straight from the expansion, it might be a bit much. Yeah. As, as you've seen, you know, I, yeah. my last turn, <laughs> I drew the dark arts and then I forgot about the villains. Yeah. You know, it, it's it, easy, it's to, easy forget to forget because there things. are so many elements. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that would be tricky. Doable. Right. That but, would be the best tricky. way to phrase it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, so I've you, got the four influence. Yep. Spells so go on top of my deck. Reparo is the only spell that you have there. I could purchase her for a discount, but we've only got two allies out there. I'd like you to get those. So, yeah, I think it's going to be one influence here yeah. because I can only do the one. And then three influence to get Reparo. Awesome. And because it is a spell with my time turner, it goes on top of my deck. Right on top. These go away. That refreshes. Uh, Over to you. Alrighty, here we go. The next hero loses two health. And add one control token to the location. Next hero. That's over here, right? Yeah. Uh, nice that's try. over here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Before I go on, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five is how I took those off the deck. So I only get one, two, three, four. Because you were and below. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm below the four health, and that's the encounter. So below four health. Oh, and. <laughs> so as we were saying, it's easy to lose track yeah. even when you have played this game. Yes. So, yeah, so that should have happened on. This turn. Yeah, so at the end of my turn, I should have only drawn four cards because of the current en encounter, which says if somebody has four health or less, they only get four cards. So I'm glad I spotted that at that point. 
Okay. Okay, carry on. And we're only one away from We're close on that. that. So you, did you lose your two health for this? Uh, right, so you're carrying on here with a raging troll. Yes, so I've right. already added one to the location. Oh, which puts me down to one. Okay, okay. and this isn't happening yet. Uh, I cannot draw cards, so I'm going to lose a health. Oh, mm -hmm. boy. And then I'm going to lose one more, and I do not have any detention cards, so that's where that ends. Okay. Not good. Now, before you carry on, yes. I will say for anybody that did not see the first playthrough, or is this is your first time seeing Harry Potter, do not fear what is called stun. You're, you don't die. It's not like other deck builders where you've got a set amount of health and if you go down to zero, you die. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show I'm at my one health. So here is the player board, and you can see the zero actually says stun. So what will happen when you get stunned is you'll have a, a limited turn. I'll show you what happens when we get through because there's no way we can avoid it. And don't try and fight it too hard. It's going to happen. Um, just don't fear it. it it's going to happen. Exactly. Right? Just, just go embrace with it. it. Yeah, embrace, embrace it. it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will play my very interesting hand. Well, not really. Mm -hmm. uh, so one, two, three, four, plus another one. So birdie bots, yes, I did shuffle, uh, mm -hmm. came up again. So I have a total of five influence. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm not playing an ally, so I won't gain any more attack, but I will place this. Yes. Before I forget. <laughs> yes. And more importantly, because that is eight. Which it means is. you're actually going to get to draw a card. So this might still trigger the reward. You're going to get Oh, to I'm draw killing a card, it. Oh, right? that's right. I'm yeah, killing it. Oh, my it. gosh. Yeah. So <clears throat> you get to do all of these actions in any order you wish. So with killing this, the Basilisk goes. There is eight damage. Yep. So I'll show you a hero card or a, a villain card again. Up top is the ongoing effects. Down below is the reward for killing it. So the ongoing effect was we were not allowed to draw cards, which not a big deal because we didn't have any draw, any card draw effects early in the game. The reward is we then, all heroes, get to draw a card. So go ahead and take an extra one. Indeed. And I will as well. So Mandy will still get to play <laughs> that. And we get to remove a control token from the location. Wow, that's unfortunate. The Polyjuice Potion decided to show up now, mm, which requires no me with no allies mm, in play. So there are no allies, yeah. It's a bit of a waste. Yep. That's, it is what it is. So with that being said, we definitely need to place one here. So that's going to leave me with four, just kind of see what I can work with there. The only thing I can get with four... I'd say go for the ally. So, yeah. Yep. Which is going to give me... As I feel was better with you last time, though. It, it, having the the die roll is good with me, but or I have this. We need to get you card. some. Oh. Which is also a spell that would work with me. That's also <laughs> true. Okay. All right, well, I can go with that. I one. say get some allies. All right, so, so we'll put that there. Bernie bots, every flavor beans going. And uh, spending four to take Cho Chang. Yep. And adding her here, and we're gonna have some issues here. So now this is gonna happen. So I'm only gonna be able to draw. One, two, three, four. Yep. So the, the order at the end of your turn for refreshing, the first thing you look at is the location. Do the villains control it? If not, leave it as is. If they do, that's when you would then remove that top location and then go on to the second one. Uh, so there are sometimes during a turn, they will have the required control tokens, but you might have an ability that would fire to then remove it and you'd still get to keep going. Then you would look at anything else that triggers with these, refresh, and then a new monster would yeah. also come out, or a new uh, a new villain. So we've got Dolores Umbridge, Ew. that's from game five, so I'll give that a, a quick viewing. Who doesn't remember her? There's oh. Dolores. Not a pleasant effect here. Each time a hero acquires a card with a value of four or more influence, oh, okay. that hero loses one, which kind of... It deters you from purchasing the more expensive ones, but at the same time, <sighs> you want to purchase the more expensive That's ones. That's right. And right now, we only have one card out here that is worth less than four. That's a problem. So we're going to be suffering some damage from that. Oh, boy. All right, here we so go. So you've only drawn the four. It is over to me. Correct. All right. Wow, this is not good. All right, so first thing is going to be, Dark Arts, <laughs> a Raging Troll. This is a new one for this uh, this expansion. There's the Raging Troll. Oh, that's the one I pulled last time. The next hero, that's uh, you, loses oh, two health. And I'm going to be stunned. Okay, <laughs> so we'll cover that in a second. Wow. And add one control token to the location. I'm going to finish these yep. and then oh, we'll cover ahead. you. And we'll so, do the stun. 
that, oh, you know what? We're going to get to do it twice because uh, <laughs> I'm, yeah, losing one, losing one. So once you're stunned, you cannot lose any more health, nor can you gain any health. Uh, you, you'll still be playing no matter whose turn it was, uh, but you will not be able to gain health on your turn. So let's cover Mandy's first. So once you are stunned, you must discard half of your hand rounded down. So normally you're going to have five cards in hand before your turn starts, which means you need to discard two of them. Uh, obviously, if you had any more than that, it would be half. Yep. So I will be discarding a spell okay. and an item. Okay. And then if there were any tokens on your board, if you had any attack or influence from other people's turn getting you some, you would lose those as well. And I have none. Okay. And that's fine for you. Yep. Now over to me. I also got stunned, so I need to discard half of my hand. <laughs> okay, so I get rid of two. Uh, I would lose any tokens, but I do not have any. I still get to play, though. So basically, you're just going to have a, a reduced effectiveness hand. Mm. You still get to play. Uh, it just won't be as beneficial. Yes, Dolores Umbridge is awful. She's so mean. Ugh. Mm, yeah. Angry. All right. Well, let's see here. This is the easiest one. I'll play that first. I gain right. one. Now, I can choose one. I can gain two or draw a card. Hmm. Now, here's a card that lets us draw cards. We would not have benefited from that before when the Basilisk was out because that was preventing us from drawing right. additional cards. We've killed the Basilisk, which means we can now draw cards. Let's see how much I have to spend potentially. I could be spending upwards of five. Uh, that does not five clear is anything, eh? Not four. Four could help you. So I could do four here and one there. Right. Which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. Okay. So I'll gain two instead of drawing. I'll gain two from Beetle the Bard. That gives me a total of five. In which case, I'll put one out here. Four for the spell. I don't have my time turner in play, which means it's just going to go to my discard. I have no attack. At the end of my turn, I then go back to full health, as does anybody else that was stunned on that turn. And that is important. I've, I've actually seen in comments on our previous teach and play where people actually thought that you wouldn't gain it back until the start of your own turn. But no, that's not the case. You always go back to full health at the end of the active player's turn. So in this case, I'm the active player. I go back to full health and Mandy goes back to full health. That is it for me. These go to discard. That gets refreshed. I'm reading the comments about um, um, Dolores Umbridge. I'm like, that makes, and is it Hingle? That makes so much more sense. Why she was like that. Ugh, how Why did I miss like that? that? Oh, because it's she was wearing... It's been so long since I've watched. Well, she was uh, wearing the locket of Slytherin, which was one of the Horcruxes. Oh, okay. So it was making her kind of... Okay. Yeah. Well, you know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and draw back up. All right. You do that? Okay. So let's start here with my two cards. He who must not be named, add one uh, control token to the location. Okay. Okay, that's happening. Yeah, this is going to happen, but we'll see. Each time a hero acquires a card with four or more. Okay, we're not there yet. Active hero loses one. Uh, active hero loses one plus an additional one for an attention. So just the one. I don't have any detention. Okay. Wow, this will be a very short turn. Choose one, gain one attack, or gain two health. I think the attack is really the way to go here. And gain two influence. Wow. <laughs> If you play another ally, also gain two health. Nice. So that at least pulls me up. Now yep. here's the dilemma I have. I can buy the chocolate frog. Any one hero gains one influence and health. I play this card. And if I discard it, I still get the same benefit. Or I place one here and lose one. That's a great card for I you. I think this is what I have to do. So <clears throat> with the chocolate frog, I'll show this. This is, a, this is from game three. So you wouldn't have seen this in the previous video. But chocolate frog, it's cheap to purchase. Only costs two. And not necessarily the strongest ability, it's any one hero gains one influence or one health. But the benefit to this card is if you discard it, you still gain one influence and one health. Right. So if any triggers, anything triggers out here with the villains or the events that makes you discard one, doesn't matter with this card. And then it works even doubly so with Mandy's ability of if you're forced to discard, you gain an attack and a health. <laughs> 
found and said, I just yelled, chocolate frog. And that startled her husband. <laughs> sorry, I startled to... or perked up. Ooh, a chocolate frog. <laughs> I had to, sorry, I had to share. That was very funny. Okay, so here are the two influence. That's fantastic. And I'm um, going to... Yeah, yeah we, I'm yeah, thinking we, we got to place it with next. Dolores. Yeah. So my turn was quite short. <laughs> okay. And I don't have to worry about this anymore. So Now, something we also need to keep in mind um, is the play two cards with an even yes. value. I see the four there. But this didn't have any. And those were the only two that And I you played. purchased the stock clock. Yeah, okay. unfortunately. Yeah. It's easy to lose track of the requirements on these cards. But now that we've actually purchased some cards, we need to pay attention. Because as soon as we play two cards of an even value, we get to take this out of play, yeah. but at the same time, it also means a more difficult one is going to be underneath it. So these are one of those things that you just got to pay attention. Now, long term, ultimately, we need to get rid of all encounters because I did show you that the bottom of the deck is Lord Voldemort face up. You cannot, once he comes into play, you cannot assign any attack damage to Lord Voldemort until all other villains are gone and all encounters are gone. You need to remove everything. Oh. So we need to get rid of these. <clears throat> Not just horrific. want to, but need to. Ah. Okay, so over to me. Mm -hmm. I'm back to full health. That's fantastic. I'm feeling good. Take on the world. Most modre. All heroes lose one. And add a control token to the location. <laughs> okay, that's getting a little close Yeah, that's close four or comfort. five. That's not so good. Wow. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine. I lose one here. I lose one here, and I have not taken a detention yet, so that's fine. Let's see what I can do. Wow. And I feel this board is getting a little expensive again, so... Well, let's start with something fun. Oh, heroes draw a card. Oh, I like where that's going. Okay, well, not exactly, but it's better than nothing. Okay, and then... I'm going to get... Cedric Diggory into play, which lets okay. me get one attack, and mm -hmm. lets me roll the Hufflepuff die, Hufflepuff. which specializes in health. So like I said, each one specializes in one element that will have three sides of that element. So this specializes in health. There are three sides that are health and one for each other element. With my proficiency ability, I'm going to get to re-roll this if I'm not happy with the first result. So what are we looking for here? Hmm. Health is not urgent right now. No, right now it's... Getting a card would be good. Getting an attack would be good. Attack or card. I mean, health for seems to be all right. So. All right. Well, let's see what we can get. Influence is not a bad either. There's a card. Let's go with the card. All right. So we're all drawing so a card. We each get a card. No so card. When, whenever you roll one of these, each player is going to benefit from that. Jeez, I'm not grabbing what I need. Okay. Let's see here. What is the problem? Ooh. I've got Tergio. Okay, I need to figure out what I need to purchase here. There's Ron, mm. George, excuse me, Weasley. And that's the one I That's one you had before. Yeah. These are kind of the ones I had before. This item's great for me, but if you need it. Oh, if I can get to six. Yeah, that would be a nice one. If I can get to six. So before I play that then, because that would be one, two, three. Oh, I can only get to four. Four. I can only get the four. And then if you had any extra, we need to yeah. work on uh, Norbert because mm. Norbert is a problem. I can only get the... There's Dobby. Which Dobby would be good with you. Yeah, this is usually Dobby's the one that I kind of go for. Yeah. Oh, Robert's online. Hey, Robert. Hey, Robert. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. One, two, yeah, no matter how many times I count it. Okay, you know what? Let's start with... Oh. <laughs> Taking three for that. So there you go. King player 14 is in the middle of MBOM. I like the acronym. <laughs> there aren't any spoilers. That is so much easier than trying yeah. to say everything yet. <laughs> <laughs> and that is four spells, which means we are each Norbert. going to gain. Norbert was cute. Coochie, coochie. But he's trying to kill us right now, so <laughs> <Yeah>. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, three, four. Yeah, okay. I was going to use that to banish a card, but I'm just going to use it to take another How one. And then Crookshanks is going to get me an attack. So here we go. I have four to spend because <laughs> George Weasley yes. allows me to roll a die. That will only cost me three instead of four. Which is great. And I'm going to show that in a second. That leaves me one influence to spend over here. Yes. And 
a whopping three attack to Dolores. Yeah, Dolores, take that. In your face. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I've got, <laughs> I've got George Weasley here. Um, and I've, I've tried to talk a bit of strategy every now and then. And I know some people have strug uh, struggled. George Weasley, the way this one works best, his ability at the bottom states, if another hero has a Weasley in hand, all heroes gain one health. So this is best to go to a person that is not collecting allies and more specifically not collecting Weasleys because I'm just going to take this as my one Weasley and then Mandy collects all the rest. And anytime I draw him, if Mandy has any other Weasley in her hand, we get to heal up. So that's the best way to play that. And that is going into my discard for a purchase. I am above the four there. Mm -hmm. I am good. done. These go away. All right, refill. Over to you. All righty, here we go. I got lots of cards in hand, so let's see how this pans out. Terran Telegra. Active hero loses one health and cannot assign oh, more than one attack to each villain this turn. Okay. So I'll lose that. So I just have to remember that. Yep. That's not happening now. That's not happening now. I'm going to lose a health. And I'm going to lose another health. Oh, wait! And another, because I do have a detention card in my hand. Okay. Oh, boy. That's a doozy. All right, well, there's a saving grace here. So one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Six, seven. Nice. <laughs> this is just a discard, so this doesn't really count for much. So okay. it's a total of seven, so yep. we'll take that. Four, oops, five, six, seven. Very so nice. I can only add. And before you carry on, yes. there's, I think there's more. Oh, sorry. If you play another ally, also oh, gain two ally. health. Okay. But I don't have the ally. Sorry. So nope, if it's no not applicable, worries. I won't. Yep. No worries. Regale you. I saw it. the heart there, and I yeah. got excited, hoping that you'd actually get to heal up. But yeah. No. Okay. I know. So close. But I will before I forget. Yep. Give that to Dolores. So that leaves her at five. So we're not quite there yet. Okay. So I have seven. Yeah, you do. However, I do. I should really go here. So I'm thinking uh, I should take serious, or do you think I should take? No, I think you should take that. Choose two, gain two attack or two influence. Oh yeah, or gain two health or draw two cards. Yeah, and you get to do two of those things. So choose this, two. This is yeah. a fantastic card. I, I called it when it first came out. How good of a card this is, but it costs seven. Felix Felicis. <laughs> um, there's there's the card, and there are four different things that you benefit from on the bottom. You get to choose two of those, which the flexibility behind it is fantastic, but. Another reason to get rid of that while you can is that is a seven cost card that is no longer clogging up our market. So just a quick bite, everyone. For I know there's it's late for some people. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. <laughs> so that's seven. Well worth it. Yes, definitely. Yeah, but that's gonna well, I'm gonna pay for it in a minute um, <laughs> because now I have to resolve this. So that's gonna make me lose one. Mm. Oh no. Uh, what did I purchase? Did I play any even cards? That's another, no, all of mine were, yeah. I did purchase George Weasley. So I am going to back that up for a second. Sure. Uh, I should have lost one health for one that. One health, okay. Yep. Thank you. No problem. So there you go. Lost a health, which brings me to four, which is now going to trigger this. Yep. <laughs> and I'm only gonna draw four cards. Yep. All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, this, this is getting scary here. Dark Arts card. Legolamency. Oh, I got it first try. Nice. <laughs> All heroes reveal the top card of their deck. Oh, boy. Heroes that reveal a spell, discard it and lose two health. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, that's a spell. I had an ally. Okay. So discarded, lose two health. Uh, that will trigger unless I heal up, but not yet. That may trigger, depending on what I spend. I do lose one here, and I do lose one here, so odds are pretty good. That will trigger as well. Let's see what happens. Oh, boy. Well, first off, this is exciting. L remove one control token from the location. Okay, that's so good. Cause <laughs> a bit of breathing room. We about really, that we've only got the one card. Oh, yeah, we need to get Dobby in play. Dobby would be great because Dobby, yeah. I usually grab Dobby, so I'm hoping. This is one of the main keys that I tell people is get cards that remove those control tokens because the further you go into the locations, the more difficult the game is going to get mm -hmm. because you have to draw more Dark Arts cards. All right, and then one, two, three. Give Dobby a sock. 
<laughs> yes, there are two, I think, socks yes, in here. Yes, those potentially yeah. could come up, so you yep. are not wrong on that. <laughs> yep, no, it's... Uh, very true to the movie. <laughs> it's, it's a funny statement, but it's also a very true statement. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so I've got four spells being played, which means we are each going to gain an attack. Thank you. And then I can gain two influence, or everybody gains one. Um, ooh, ooh. I've got three right now. Yeah, it's going to be a light round for me next time, but there are other things I can focus on. I could get him five, because he does have the roll, di roll a die ability. Yeah, and he's got, is that the Slytherin die? Looks like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great for some attack inch. Yeah, and I'm not uh, denying you of any allies because there's still right. allies out here, and that's the next one you right. need. Right, exactly. I've got okay, then busy. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take the two influence for that, mm -hmm. which puts me at five. I will be spending five, even though this card is a six cost because I do get a one influence discount, and this is a game six card, so I'll show this. Horus Slughorn. <laughs> oh. There we go. All heroes choose one, gain an influence or health, and then I get to roll the Slytherin die, which I actually get to roll twice if I wish. Or a re-roll, anyway. Right. So that'll go to my discard. That leaves me with one attack here. That's one away. So close. We're almost there. Yes. I can and I one. am underneath the four uh, threshold, which means I can only draw four cards for my next turn. All right, let's that do a refill is there. Me. All right. Here we go, here we go. Obliviate. All heroes choose one. Discard a spell or lose two health. Yeah, I'll be discarding the spell. Thank you very <laughs> much. I cannot lose any more health. Oh! <laughs> but I do get to gain one of these. And I also gain a health because of my proficiency ability. Because you had to discard, yep. Exactly. All yeah. right, now, that's not happening yet, mm -hmm. but well, we'll deal with that in a moment. Mm -hmm. Active hero loses one. Well, that's not so great. Active hero loses one, plus an additional for detention. I don't have any detention, so I'll just lose the one. Okay. So we'll now, before you carry on, one yes. thing that I just thought of to mention. So, Mandy will be removing the Loris from the board, which is fantastic. As I said before, you can do this in any order you wish. And as soon as you remove a card that is preventing you from doing something, you can then do that ability. For example, when the Basilisk was out, it was preventing us from drawing cards. So when that was out, if we killed it off during our turn and got rid of that, you now have the ability to draw a card on that same turn. Right. Mm. So with that being said... <laughs> Which in this case, you'll be able to purchase without having to suffer the, the right. penalty. Yep. I'm going to deal with her first. Yes. So let's do it. So I that's like that. seven. Yep. And we are all heroes gain one influence and two health. Nice. So here's your influence. Thank you. And two health. Ooh, Ooh I, like I needed that. that. So did I. I was <laughs> down to two. I was down. I was down <clears> for <throat> the count almost. All right. So let's get that off the board. Now I am free to buy cards. Well, I don't know how much we're getting, but we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh. Or at least one there if I you're not purchasing. I should have played purchasing. this. See, and this is where you're reading your cards is important. But, it, but no, it's yes, still but triggers. it triggers it's because triggers. that's right. So gain one attack. Mm-hmm. But if you defeat a villain, I also gain an influence. Yeah. So you don't need to defeat the villain with that item. I'll, yes. I'll just I'll show that. That's a basic one. Yeah, that's from game one, but still. So here is one of the brooms that can be played, the clean sweeper. There is the Nimbus 2000 out, or 2001 out there as well that is even stronger. But you gain an attack, and then if you defeat a villain, you also gain influence. It does not need to be defeated with that specific attack. As right. long as you defeat a villain you. on your turn, it still triggers. So my chocolate frog is going to any one hero chocolate gains frog. one influence <laughs> and one health. I'm going to take that if you don't mind. Yep. All right. One health and one influence. And then birdie bot flavor beans. I gain one influence. Still no ally with it. No ally. So the second portion does not activate. Okay. Well, I do have these two while I'm at it. Mm -hmm. Throw those over there with uh, Professor Quirrell. So I'm left with four. Yeah. So I can either... No, I think Dobby. I think we need Dobby at this Dobby's point because that's yep. scaring me a little bit. So I am yep. going to take Dobby for the full four influence. I concur. That's uh, this isn't extremely punishing. No, it it's worse for you because you do have that one detention cycle right. through there, and it will get worse as we get more. Did I play? No, but uh, getting Dobby into your deck is how we control this. So that's not going to trigger because yep. I'm above, and I just checked to see if I had any even cards that were played, but I did not. Okay. So one, two. So we've got a new villain coming out. Four. 
Cornish Pixies. So this is one of the creatures. There's a new one coming in. For each card in hand with an even value, active hero loses two health. Oh, great. Mm. And we're trying to get oh. even cards so that we can get rid of that encounter. Wonderful. So that's a tricky combination. The reward is all heroes gain two health and an influence. All right. I think that is our new target yeah. over... Quirrell. Professor Quirrell, yeah. All right. So Play it's over to me. Three attack... No, it was two. I was trying to see if I had attached. I had uh, applied three, but I don't think okay. it was two. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay, here we go. Hand of Glory. Active hero loses one. And add a control token to the location. Uh, back up to okay, five. Okay, we need to deal with that. Yeah, we need to keep that under control. Uh, next up, for each card in hand with an even value. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Whew, I'm good. Nothing there. I do lose one for that, and then I uh, lose one for that, and I do not have any You're detentions. So lucky. I am at one health. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not for long, but I am currently at one health. Clinging okay. to dear life. Well, it's pretty basic. One, two, uh, flexibility, uh, three. I'll do that first. That's no decision. I do have one from your turn, so that's yep. good. Which is nice. That puts me at four. I could get as high as six, or I could draw a card with this. Could get as high as six, and <laughs> oh, yeah, isn't that the one you wanted? I think now's the time to get yeah, that. Yeah, I think so. We need it, and at the very least, even just get it out of the market right. to give us some lower valued cards. So the Sword of Gryffindor. So I've got that gets me two more. Gryffindor. I've got six. This costs seven, but because I do get that discount on anything that lets me roll a die. I'm going to get this for six. Yeah. So that's going to go there. Six monies is gone. Mm -hmm. I will probably be stunned next turn, but that's a problem for future me. <laughs> uh, I don't have any attack to assign. That is me. That's oh, gone. boy. This is not going to go well for me, but we shall see. Okay, here we go. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, that's, I have no that's getting scary. That's not true. I do, but just not in hand. Okay. Active, active hero loses two health. Bam, just like that. That's better than putting the control token on. True. So that's for okay. each even card in hand, uh, sorry, for each card in hand with an even value, I'm going to lose two. Active hero loses Kay. two health. Uh, I'm going to back this up again. I just yeah. drew five cards, which would have been like that. I am still ah. under here, so yeah, I only, only four. get four. I'm glad I keep catching that. Yes. For some reason, I was thinking it was one of the villains that was triggering that. But I know, and that's the thing. And so yeah, I no will be losing because I do have one card at a even value. I'm going to lose another two. Only oh. one card. Yeah, only uh. the one. And now I'm going to, I'm dead. I'm stunned. <laughs> so I'm going to lose yeah. one. And then here I don't have any detention cards. Just go with it. Accept it. It's going to happen. <sighs> so now I got to get rid of two cards. Wow, this is garbage. All right. Well, I'm going to get rid of the two spells. Oh, that's so and irritating. And then any tokens would go, and you know what? I just thought of something we didn't do last. Did we do it last time? I yeah. don't think we did it last time. When you get stunned, you also put a control token on the location. We didn't. So actually, this actually would have happened. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. We're doing it now. Yep. <laughs> when So when you, when you get stunned, half of your cards go, rounded down. Uh, all tokens that are on your mat are lost. And a control token on the location. So actually, it would have been two because you got stunned and I got stunned. But it wouldn't have changed anything because you cannot put more than what is there. Right. Yeah. So it, it would have triggered. We probably should have flipped this maybe a round or two sooner. Right. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah. Well, this is not... But good. we're going there now. <laughs> okay. So that's that. Perfect. So draw three cards, then discard any two cards. Okay, here we go. So one, two... Now cards like that are three. great to have because you get to cycle through your deck a little quicker. But if you have something like the Basilisk in play that says yeah. you are not allowed to draw cards, that negates that ability because you are not allowed to draw any cards. All right, so let's do that. Perfect. So, and then I get to roll. Yes, you do. This die. Come on, big money. Uh, I don't want to roll this somewhere. Let's roll it here. Woo! Okay, so we each get a get card. A card. Oh, 
That's wonderful. <laughs> so might as well just play this now. Dobby, remove one control token from the location. Okay. And I get to draw a card. No, that's fine. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Oh yeah, I guess I should share. Okay. <laughs> I'll just put... Um, Show us how good it is. Actually, you know what? First, I will play all of these, then decide. Pigwidgeon, Pigwidgeon, choose one, gain an attack or gain two health. Obviously, gaining the attack makes more sense. Fleur de la Coeur, I'm going to gain two influence. Nice. If I play another ally, gain two health. Doesn't do anything for me at this point. Right. I'm going to gain another influence. And then I get to choose an ally I've played this turn and get to copy their effect. I'm assuming we want to do that with Dobby, mm. which will remove one from the location. So here's where I'm going to kind of make a judgment call. Yes. Uh, because we should have put some put one on yeah, before. Yeah, I think we should not. We'll leave it at that. Right. So yeah. anybody watching, I think we potentially might have... Well, no, we did. We, we should did. have yeah. placed a control token when we both each yeah. uh, reached so stun. Instead of removing another one, we'll just say that we're not going to get that benefit because we should have put one on before, so... What's the play to evens? Oh, and get rid of something. That's this. Yeah. yeah. So that is the encounter that's in play right now. Unfortunately. Gonna, I'll try and say it again. Pes oh, but Pes yes. And I know why they brought it up because I have oh, now. Oh, you actually do I have it? now okay. played two so, yes. evens. So yeah, Pesca Pesternomi. Ah, actually that, that rolled off the tongue that time. So at the end of the turn, if somebody has four or less, they can only draw four cards. That wouldn't happen because in this case, Mandy would go to 10 first right. before that triggers to actually remove this you need to play two even cards uh two cards with an even value in one turn and they're letting us know that you've got two out there so they asked about so i uh, almost haven't asked about it but thank you for the reminder because yes dobby is worth four and fleur is also worth which four. which you didn't originally have no. until you got the card draw Correct. which yes so okay. that's how that Excellent. all triggered so before we get to all of that yep um i'm going to assign this and we've determined we're trying to get rid of the pixies. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. Um, I only have three, which is basically a spell. Mm. Or I do one here, but then I'm getting rid of then two. Then you're getting nothing. Right. Okay. I'd say, yeah, I'd say buy the and spell. And this is choose one, gain two influence, or draw a card, so it's pretty basic. Yeah, so I'd say get the spell. I think we'll go that route. It would be nice to get rid of this, but I don't want you wasting two influence yeah, on top so just of one, spending the one. Not yeah. a big deal, but yeah. that's kind of a big deal. So. We'll do that. Now, these encounters resolve at the end of your turn. You see if you met the conditions. Yeah, I was so. putting that as, oh, you are. as, a, as a reminder. Yeah, no, yeah, good. Because yeah, I didn't want to forget that we did accomplish it. So, that was Manny that did accomplish that. Play two cards with an even value in one turn, which means this is now going to go into Manny's play area. So, it's on you to remember. Yeah. I'll try, I'll try and remember along with you. I think and I better put it here. Anybody that, that is watching, please also remind us if we miss it. Each time you play a card with an even influence value, any one hero gains one. So that is now a new goal. We want to try and get you even valued cards because that's going to start healing right. us up as well. So you know what? If I don't put this here, mm -hmm. I will forget about it. Yep, I have no, a that's tendency, fine. Put it, so put it wherever gonna... and that'll be... That's on screen. You're fine. Yeah, You're fine. just a little smidge yep. there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, that does uh, also mean... Isn't a new location supposed to come out once they had five skulls? We got to remove, location, uh, remove the tokens. Right. So we're back down to four. Because uh, Mandy played Dobby, which removes a control token from the location, plus your poly... It was a juice. Poly juice? Poly juice. Mm -hmm. uh, which poly juice potion. Which lets you copy an effect of an ally. But we, we ignored that because of a mistake we made earlier just to, to make up for it. Right. So, yes, had we finished with... Yes. Then that's a whole other story. So the order is, even if it gets to the full amount... That does not resolve until the end of your turn, which means you do still have your turn to try and remove those. So that is one of the key strategies that I've told people is try and get cards that let you remove those to prevent that from flipping. Yeah. It doesn't happen immediately. Okay, so you have the ability there, which yes. means we do have a, a new, new encounter in play. Students out of bed. What are they doing out of bed? Okay, encounter Norbert and Troll. Each time a hero shuffles their deck. Oh, God. Put a detention in it first. Oh. This is where things are going to start to get sticky. So these cards are going to start clogging up our deck every time we shuffle. Wow. To get rid of it, and that's where these tokens are going to come into play. So that is the effect, like I was saying, every time we shuffle we have to put a detention card in it first. 
here's the to complete, which is one heart and one card draw on die rolls. And that's where these tokens, I'm going to show this on the overhead just because it's easier to lay them out. Yeah, heart and card draw. That's where these tokens come into play. They do not need to be done in the same turn. So say on one turn, I get to roll a die and I get a heart. I would actually put that on the card to show that that part of it is completed. Then we just need to get the card draw on another die roll and that will complete the card completely. Right. Oh boy. Okay, so this is where detentions are gonna really start to hurt us. We, I, I need, so. uh, we need another copy of that card that lets us banish cards. Mm -hmm. I jinxed us by saying more would come out. Yeah. That is not completely the case. <laughs> <laughs> Jobby, I see you, so welcome to the chat. I know you were also welcome. on the stream. Jason was giving away my secrets, my names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, is it over to me? It's over to me, isn't it? Yes. That was you? I believe that was me. Right, and I'm down to one health. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably about to be a stun. Let's see what happens. So first off is Dark Arts. Dementor's Kiss. Active hero loses two. All other heroes lose one. Oh, wow. Well. I am stunned. Dun dun, which is gonna trigger this. It's gonna, it's gonna put one on there. Well, sorry, that's what I mean. Place one on there, not trigger necessarily. Okay, I don't Unless have a way out of that yet. But first thing is, I need to discard two cards. Oh boy. Okay. She's stunned before she's able to play Dobby. Hmm. I was stunned, but yeah, I do. I think I drew. Uh, yes, I drew Dobby afterward. It was in the chat, someone said okay. she was stunned before she was able to play Dobby. But that was, I was, I had two cards, but Dobby was not. I don't think part of the deal. I think I picked him up after. Okay. Anyway, I'm just trying to figure out the comment, but go ahead. Um, yeah, stunned. You you still get to play when yeah. you're stunned. Stunned just means you have. So for example, I am stunned right now. You will still get to play. Um, so in this case. I'm stunned. I have to discard half of my hand. I would discard any tokens that I have, but I do not. Mm -hmm. uh, I will still need to carry on with cards here. For each card in hand with an even value, active hero loses two. I have one. Irrelevant, because I'm already right. stunned. Exactly. Lose one. Irrelevant. Lose one. Irrelevant. So nothing else matters there because I'm already stunned. I still get to play the cards that I have in hand. So I was stunned, which means token goes That's on here. There is five. But I don't have anything in my hand to take care of that. I know I have something in my deck, and I'm going to try and find it. It's a long shot. <laughs> but I will start with playing Cedric Diggory. I gain an attack. Okay. And I get to roll the Hufflepuff die. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hope I can get a card draw out of it, because if I can, who knows? Maybe the card I need is on top okay. of my deck. So before you roll, here's the yep. question yep. from Mr. Uh, Poe Bear. Okay. My question was, doesn't the location get removed once all five skulls were on the location? No. No. That doesn't happen until the end of the turn. So, if, for example, right now there are five on there, but I still have a chance during my turn Correct. to try and remove those tokens. So we each have cards in our deck now that allow removal of those control tokens. I don't have one on my hand. I'm hoping it's on the top of my deck, and I'm hoping, and that's why this is a long shot, that I'll get card draw out of this die. Right. If you can get rid of those, you do not resolve that until the end of your turn during the cleanup. So you have a chance to get out of it. So there's a there's a there's a long shot here. here. Let's see. So I will roll. I'm hoping for card draw. That is influence. However, with my proficiency, I get to re-roll the die if I wish, mm -hmm. and I wish. Uh, attack. <laughs> All right. Can that, I can't even help us here. <laughs> so, we each gain attack. Yes. That's a start. Thank you. Did yeah, you have that attack when you there. went... Uh... I got it here. You got it there. Okay. Okay. Well, I still have two more cards to play here. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's going to happen. It's going to happen. There's, there's so, no stopping it now. So, there you go. Yes, this but will we'll, happen at we'll, the end of the we'll turn. We'll do it all in order. Mm. Yeah. So... Well, I can't gain health, so Crookshanks is going to get me another attack. Might as well. <laughs> and then that leaves me either two, which w really won't do me any oh, good. Oh, yeah, that totally would make the game a lot harder. So this, this person, uh, is it Mr. Pobear? Mm-hmm. 
was resolving that before. Yeah, so no, that you, would make you it do really have an hard. opportunity, yeah. And, yeah. and I'm curious because a lot of people do struggle once you get to games five, six, and right. seven. I wonder how many other people are doing that as well. Wow. Um, yeah. But that would definitely make it harder because so. there are many cards in here that allow you that opportunity to remove those or even triggering some of the benefits of removing the villains will also be removing those tokens. So if you can trigger that before you switch to the next location, you're still fine. Yeah. Okay, so I have two tokens from, uh, two influence from Beetle the Bard, which is going to do me no good, which means I'm going to take one. I'm going to give one to you. Okay, thank you. Because the options here are I get two or all heroes gain one. The two does me no good, but the one does because I can put uh, that on slowly Norbert. Slowly getting rid of that. And you get the other one. These three will go on the Cornish Pixies. Yeah, so which are. So that's a start there. Kind of a problem. That is it. Yes. Unfortunately, didn't roll either of those either to try and That's what I was checking that. for yeah. when you rolled. Yeah, I got attack and I got influence. Oh my goodness, I'm going to take So I'm going to be looking for those to try and get rid of it because that's going to be that's going to be hurting us as well. All right, I think that's it for me. So these are gone. You would refresh anything else and yes, there are five control tokens. <laughs> so now this gets of course, removed. it's on my turn now where I have to start drawing two of these suckers. So next <laughs> up is Hagrid's Hut. So there's Hagrid's Hut, and you can see we are on location two of three. It shows up here. And it requires six control tokens instead of five, so we've got a bit more time there. But you know why? It's getting a little more difficult. Now we have to draw two dark arts every turn. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely makes... The game, <laughs> this has happened to me before, when I've learned a game and I've played a role incorrectly, I'm like, why is it so hard? And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. Play, it happens to all of us. Now, it's not like it's extremely easy to remove those. No. But you do have the opportunity to yeah. before before the end of your turn. And you know what? That makes me think of a lot of other people are doing the same. So. It's quite possible, yeah. Okay, here we go. Crucio, active hero, loses one health. Reveal an additional Dark Arts event. What? Before you carry on. Yes. Because I, I, I don't want people just taking our word for it. I'll give you the reference for that. Sure. Uh, so if you look in the base game manual, uh, page 10, step four, end of turn, uh, the first part of step four is where you check to see if the control tokens are there. So you know, don't just take our word for it because we're doing this. No, absolutely. Obviously, we want to be getting stuff right, but that that's the reference for you, so you can you can see. If you're Do you have uh, yes? With a basilisk, basilisk was right in the first first round. Yes. So the new version of the basilisk. Right. Basilisk. Yes. Basilisk. <laughs> Why am I having a hard time? Powerful. I don't know if I took my health. I started reading and then I I don't think I did. So we'll okay. take that. If anyone's watching and saw that I did, let me know. But. Just yeah, we'll make it harder. Side. Why not? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have to reveal. I had to reveal two to begin with, but now I have to reveal another. So what I'm going to do mm -hmm. um, is do this. That's okay. a, a good habit that I like getting into. Is when you need to draw multiples, set them aside because there are a lot of cards in here that will force you to draw more, and it's easy to lose track of how many you've drawn. Right. On so your turn. that's the first one, which is yep. asked me to draw an additional. So yep. let's do that. Uh, Slugulus Rukto. All heroes lose one health for each creature. There are two, so we're there losing two, two oh, health. And I'm back to full health because that was the end of my turn. That right. was refreshed. But now you're down to two, two for that. Yep. And finally, Educational Decree. For each card with a value of four or more influence in hand, active hero loses one. Oh, boy. <laughs> Zero. Okay. Well, <laughs> so that's, that's something. Uh, in a way, that's good. Better that also means you're all weak cards in your hands, but you know, a kick in the at teeth, least though. yeah, at least you're not getting damaged for it. <laughs> that will happen, but not yet. Okay. Uh, each even card. Well, I don't have any valued cards. I'm gonna lose one health because of this. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna lose another one. I do not have any detention cards, so I will just lose the one. Okay. Wow, that was horrific. <sighs> okay, so we're not gonna do this yet because I am actually gonna get cards to help me. Yes, it will help me. Perfect. So let's actually start with Clean Sweep 11, so I'm going to gain an attack. Yes. And while I have it here and it's on my brain. Perfect. Defeats Cornish So it Pixies. will defeat that. So let's take care of the second yep. part of that. So then if I defeat a villain, I also gain another influence. Yep. Oops. All right. See? So we then go. we'll look at the benefit of this. Defeating the Cornish Pixies, all heroes gain two health and one influence. So you get two health as well ah, thank on you. top of that. Perfect. Can't so that save. Is gone. Okay. 
Alrighty. Next, we'll play another item, Birdie Box Beans. I'm gonna gain another influence. And for each ally I played, well, I didn't play any, so the second part is moot. Right. And I'm gonna gain another three influence from my spells. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So unfortunately, this isn't doing anything because I have nothing with value. Yep. But I do have seven influence. I don't think I need... Uh, did you buy that card with the Weasleys? Yes. With George? You I did. did. I did. So that's kind of looking good. Yep. You can definitely contribute to here. Which, what's the benefit on that? Uh, all heroes may banish a card from their hand or discard pile. Oh. Uh, mm. Okay. I got to check the discard to see if that... Uh, I don't think it's in here, which is a problem. Oh, for goodness sakes, it's not in here. Not in there, right? No, I know. But I'm if you don't do that now, you're also going to be suffering additional damage from it. Yeah, when it comes up. Yeah. Oh, that's such so a garbage. So I think, I think getting rid of this is important right now. All right, so then I will just go with, actually, at this point, one, two, three, you four, five, seven. six. I could actually, by serious, gain two attack and one influence. Yeah, I don't mind that. And then I can come back that's to her later. That's the most expensive card out yeah, there. Yeah, makes yep. sense. I so like let's that. do this Yep. for a total of six. Yep. So we get to banish a card. Mm -hmm. So I could technically get rid of one of these. Yeah, get rid of spells. one of your basic ones. So I'll get sure. rid of a basic spell with that. So the I'll show show Norbert as well again on his way out. So this is the one that was hurting us. Oops, this is the one that was hurting us for all detention cards in hand, which we don't have a lot yet. However, we are about to get more because of the encounter that's out. Every time we shuffle, we're going to get another one. Oh. So this would get bad. The benefit on this is all heroes may banish a card from hand or discard pile, which is a great way to get rid of the detentions and if they are available. I think this is going to trigger because I put one here. Yep. And I put two. And you put there. Yes, attack absolutely. There. And so it is. That's going to be. Or. Yep. Yeah. So basically, uh, all heroes gain one. Yep. So that's going to happen. Uh, I'm already full, so that's so fine. So I'm going to, and we have a question here. Sure. Uh, are creatures and creature villains the same thing? I'll let you answer that while I complete my. Uh, yeah. Uh, creatures. Let's see here. And serious. They're not quite the same thing. I'll show the three different types because we have them all in our discard. Uh, before I do that, there was one more thing I wanted to sure. think about. I'm going to get a detention. Yes, because you're shuffling. Mm -hmm. And it goes into... Into the pile deck. that you're yep. shuffling. Yep. All right. And I cannot remember what it was, but let's carry on with this. So... These are the three different types now that we have the expansion in play. So you've got villain, which would have been just the base um, the base game. You're only dealing with villains. But with the expansion, you now have creatures and then villain creatures. The basilisk and uh, there was one other one. Was it Norbert? No, Norbert's a creature. Uh... Uh, We'll see it eventually. Yeah. There were two cards that replace cards out of the base game that are now villain creatures. Oh, um, the... No, okay. No, it's the Dementor. <clears throat> ah, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, become villain creatures as opposed to just villains. The main detriment to those is that they now fulfill both key words. So, for example, there are some villains. Uh, oh, which villain is it? There's a villain that says every time a new villain is revealed... You suffer one damage, I think it is, in which case the villain creature is a villain. But then there's others that refer creatures, like the, the event that happened. We lose damage, uh, we, we lose health for every creature in play. This is also a creature. So because it has both keywords, it will be hurting you a little more often. That's the main difference. So I'm going to refill that, and then we need to... Okay, so new uh, two new villains and or creatures. All right. I won't even show this because we've shown this before. This is from the base game, game one, right from the start. Crab and Goyle. Each time a Dark Arts event or villain causes a hero to discard a card, that hero loses one. So discarding cards just got a little more painful, but in the grand scheme of things, okay. not an awful card. Uh, next up, it sounds nice. <laughs> it's Fluffy. Fluffy, the three-headed hound. Mm. So here's Fluffy. And that is definitely a creature. That's from the expansion. For each item in hand, active hero is going to choose one. Lose health or discard a card. I think we found our new target. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fluffy's got to go. Eight. Yikes. Yeah, eight health. That's going to be tough. All righty. That was you? Yep. 
over to me. You okay. To draw your, Two you dark cards. Draw your cards right? Okay, so. Draw your cards. Yeah. Got, uh, got my five there. Perfect. First up. Fiend fire. All heroes lose three health. What? Three? Yep. Yeah. That, that didn't tickle. No, it sure didn't. Second one <laughs> is the heir of Slytherin. <laughs> Yeah. I'll show this one because it has uh, it has multiple things on it. But basically, with the Heir of Slytherin, you wouldn't have seen this in our first couple of plays, we are going to roll the Slytherin die and then have to resolve whatever the effect is depending on the side you roll and not in a good way like would normally happen. The plus side in this case is because I do have my arithmancy proficiency, I get to re-roll a die if I wish. And it's any time I roll a die. It doesn't have to be a beneficial die. It could also be a detrimental die. So if it's really detrimental, like, for example, what would be the worst thing here? Adding a control token to the location? Mm, it's not we would like bit. this. Remove one damage from all villains. Because yeah. really, we don't care about him right now. No. But basically, because I get the ability to roll this die, I could re-roll it if, if I want. So let's see what we get first. Attack is all heroes lose a health. Grand scheme of things. It's not Terrible. That's not the worst case scenario, so let's go with that. Okay. Oh dear. So that's two. Then what do we have? Each time a hero shuffles, that's right, and yeah, I'll be shuffling next. Each time a dark arts, I did not uh, have to discard, that's fine. I do lose one here. Oh, this is a doozy. For each item in hand. Yeah, active hero chooses one, lose a health, or discard Not a card. Not a single item. I don't care about you, Fluffy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so then, let's see here. What do I need here? I need dice rolling. Do I have any dice yeah, rolling? Yeah, I definitely I can't help not. with that. Not too much. And really unfortunate here. I have my finite spell, which lets me remove a control token from the location. Like I was saying, if you can do that on your turn, it's great. And there are none. <laughs> there so this is none. a wasted time to get that. Uh, I could banish a card from my hand. So, before I do that, three or four to spend. What am I looking to get? There's some spells. Ah, uh, this. Ah, oh yes, choose any which one of the I can house get for dice three. to roll. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play Turgio, which gets me one. Oh, I have an extra one here, too. Hmm. I'm still going to do this. Okay. <laughs> and I may banish a card in my hand. And I'm going to banish one of the basic spells. I'm just going to get that out to start thinning my deck. That gets removed from the game completely. Mm -hmm. And that leaves me with two more influence to gain. And that is four spells being played. We each get an attack. Thank you. You're welcome. Which the attack will go to Fluffy. Just a little tickle under the chin. <laughs> and four to spend. I think I'm still going to get that. Even though it only yeah. costs three. Might as well. So I am getting Hogwarts, a history. This is from game four of the original. Which works great for me because it does cost one less because the ability on this is choose any one of the house dice to roll. And because of my ability, I even get the re-roll as well. Uh, let's see here. I played, mm, that's fine. Right, need house, you're right, need dice rolling. Okay. Yep. That's there. That's good. Fell here. I have to shuffle, which, because of the encounter that's out, I have to put in a detention. And over to you. Alrighty, we're going to have to draw two of these. Start here. Avada Kedavra. Oh ah, well spoken. Well, I'm stunned. That's always a tongue, a tongue twister for me. <laughs> Active hero loses three. Ah, if this stuns the hero, also oh, add no. one additional control token to the location okay. and reveal an additional dark arts event. Oh, no. So I'll put this underneath because I did draw that one okay, first. Okay, so first so, off, one stunned. at a time. Adavra Kadavra. Actually, I, I'm, I'm getting better at saying yeah, that. Yeah, no, it's good. So active hero loses three. Whoop. That stuns Mandy, which does put a control and this token goes, out here. Bye bye. That token's gone. But it also says that if it. Uh, if it does stun the hero, you put an additional control token oh. on the location. So that's that's a double whammy. Now there. I got to get rid of two cards. Wow, my hand was looking Plus so good. Plus an additional good. dark cards event. Okay. So I got to get rid of half rounded down, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. All right. So these two are gonna go. Okay. Bye bye. Now, yeah. don't forget, each time a dark arts event makes you discard. 
You don't get the health because yes. you're stunned. You still get the attack. But this happened because I was stunned. Uh, you are correct. Yep. Yes. Exactly. So, yep. I know. It's just because yep. it all happened at the same time. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. I was still in the mindset of you're drawing yes. dark cards. So, and oh. what I'm hoping is you get stuff that hurts your health because right. you can't be hurt It anymore. won't matter. Yeah. Relatio. All heroes choose one. Discard an item or lose two health. Now, in this yeah. case, <laughs> it's like a, yeah. when you have a choice, you can't choose an option that you cannot do. So, all heroes choose, discard an item, or lose two health. Mandy cannot lose health. She must discard an item if she can. If However, she can't do either, then I it's could. irrelevant. Here's where it kind of works out, because I can discard this detention. Oh. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah I can, can discard this. It says, discard, lose two health. She's can't. already stunned. Yeah. So that's one of the few situations where you can safely discard one of those. Otherwise, you'd be taking a two health hit that's for right. doing so. Uh, I still need to resolve this for myself. So discard an item or lose two health. Uh, I do have an item. I do not wish to lose the health. So I'm just going to discard the item. Okay. So I got another Dark Arts here. And before Ooh. you carry on, yes, you did discard an item this time. This time I did. You are yeah. right. So in this case, so, I'll at least gain the, uh, yeah. the attack, but I will not gain the health. You cannot gain cannot. any health when you're stunned. And this is perfect. Active hero loses two health. Well, excellent. I cannot. Okay. And you lose one. You cannot. Yep. You, uh, for every item in hand. And this wasn't going to happen either. So. Yep. And for each item in hand, lose one or discard a card. But. Um, Do you have an item left in hand? Then you're gonna have to discard. Wow! Yeah. And if I show you what item this is, this hurts <laughs> a lot. <sighs> Felix Felicis. Felicis. Uh, you don't have to discard the item. You just have to discard a card. Uh, for each. Oh, that's right. For each yeah. item in hand, active hero chooses one. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So. Well, you, you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, no, it doesn't no, matter. It, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. really strong. It does. Card, yeah. It's the so, last part. Yeah, it's it's discard a card, not discard yes, an and item I card. Yes, I read that yeah. incorrectly. So yeah. that's happened. Wow. So it says every time a dark arts event or villain causes you to discard a card. So here we you go get again. Another attack. So I get another attack. No health, but okay. Wow, that was painful. So now, <laughs> Mandy Ooh. gets to play her turn. I get to play all my, one, card. My one card. However, <laughs> that is a fantastic card because it you is. get two things out of it. So I get to choose two. Unfortunately, this isn't going to happen, but uh, choose two. So in this case, I'm thinking I should probably... Mm. We know you're not taking health. <laughs> yeah, draw a card and then discard any one card. If you discard this, draw a card. Uh, so basically, I can draw two cards. Maybe I should start with that. I'd say drawing cards is a good thing. So that's one of the options. Yeah, so let's yep. do that. So draw if he does two get cards. to choose two options from this card. Yeah. Okay. So basically, I can use these two things, but I'll finish this card first. Yep. Um, I can take the two attack. Because I have basically two, I can buy him. You can get him anyway? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So basically, I'll take the two attack. Is it just two influence you have? Correct. Because you could then get to four to get to... Uh, to get her. Me. Yeah. Oh, that's true, because I don't really need it And then if you're ever him. short, then... Okay, so rewind. So yep. we'll do two influence. Yeah instead of the two attack here mm -hmm. and then i'll mm -hmm. take another two influence from the two spells i have and that'll feed into the uh is it george weasley I that's have? Yeah. right i forgot <clears throat> that you had that card yeah. so basically i'm going to spend oops four for Gin for Ginny. Mm -hmm. add her to my discard i have two attack which will add to fluffy yep so that's my. and then he's still there if you only have a couple influence in your hand right and then we'll refill that. I'm going to draw back up. One, two, three, four, five. And there's the Nimbus 2001. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure there are no questions. <laughs> okay. Looking all right? Yep. No, I just want to see if there's any questions. Yep, okay. So I've got my two Dark Arts cards. Oh yes, and this should be back to... Yes, yeah. back to full health. Yes. First up, Mos Modre. All heroes lose one. What is with that card? And add one to the location. Oh, okay, that's creeping up slowly. Yeah. Next we have Petrification. 
All heroes lose one and cannot draw extra cards oh, this turn. come on. That, at the beginning of the game, petrification, not a big deal. That's but a problem But later right in now. the game, yeah, uh, when, uh, when you have cards that allow you to draw, yeah. that one's not good. All right, next up, each time a hero shuffles, that's right. Each time a dark arts event or villain cause I didn't have to discard, I do lose one from there. Uh-oh. And here we go. And for each item in hand, active hero chooses one. I have no items. So that's okay. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. <Nope>. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was going in a few directions. Well, I have Lumos, which is a fantastic card. All heroes draw a card. But. We can't. We can't draw cards because of petr petrification. So this is actually a completely wasted card. Do you have a Weasley in your hand? I sure don't. Dope. Okay. Uh, I just picked both. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's go with. I'll play George Weasley anyway. So first off, I gain an attack. Mm -hmm. If another hero has a Weasley in hand, all heroes gain one, but it is not in play. But not. we'll get that eventually. Uh, then I get to roll the. Uh, this is the Gryffindor die. Which specializes in influence, but I don't think influence is what we want right now. I'm kind of thinking attack might be what we want. Yeah, definitely want to push this forward a Let's little bit. Let's see what I get. Uh, which card draw would be great, but we can't draw a card, so I do get to reroll. <laughs> Sounds like Mike plays a small world app. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have the app, and I've never played it. Oh, you've never played it? <laughs> I've oh, never I played, it. I've no. played it. No, yeah. I have the app, but I've never played it. Uh, I did roll influence there. <laughs> so. The question you hear every day. Do you have a Weasley in your hand? <laughs> <laughs> so true, Nervenstein. <laughs> okay, so we got influence from that. Next up, all heroes choose one, gain an influence or a health. Influence would be for me, but... Uh, I think I'm going to actually need the influence. Yep. Yeah, I'm gaining influence. Yeah. You as well? Yeah, me too. Okay. And then my last one... Oh, before I do that, I also get to roll the Slytherin die. Basically, no... Uh, Mind you, we could have placed the card there, but I didn't even think about it. Ah, oh, that's true. I didn't even think about that it. That is true. Mm. But attack is kind of important at this point because we really yeah, need to get rid of let's that. Let's take the attack. So yeah. we each get an attack. Thank you. Yeah, totally forgot about that. Should have been rolling for that. And then one more influence puts me at three. So two tickles under the chin of Fluffy. The earlier levels, yes, they are less complex. Now, like we said, if you're familiar with deck builders, you can skip to your three. But mm -hmm. if it's something new to you, you would want to start your one. But it is less complex. as Like, this is everything, and even then some that we're playing with. And if it's your first time seeing this, it does look like a lot. Right. And, and it is a lot. It is a lot going on. But because it does have that slow, gradual build in the game, it's not overwhelming by any means. Every yeah. now and then you might forget one little thing here or there. But it's not overwhelming because you, you do get that slow growth. So I've got three to spend. I'm going to get Reparo. Mm -hmm. I do not have my time turner in play, so I don't get to put that on top of my deck. That goes there. That's me. Is that Ian O'Toole, as in Ian O'Toole, the artist of some of my favorite <laughs> Vital Lacerda games? <laughs> if it's not, that's okay too, but <laughs> just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> okay, so let's not mess around here. We gotta plow through these. Yes. All right. Expulso, active hero loses too. Well, isn't that special? Hopefully this is the last one. Oh, Flipendo, active hero loses one and discards a card. So I will lose well, my one. In terms of discarding a card, you're the best person to do it. I just <clears> want to <throat> make sure if I... Uh... Yeah, well, we definitely don't want to do that. We'll just get rid of this one. And then that, because I discarded a card, I'm going to gain a health and an influence because of my mm -hmm. proficiency ability. Yep. Um, not there yet. Each time causes a hero to discard a card. <laughs> I'm just gonna lose mm -hmm. it right back again and lose another for here. Mm -hmm. Each item in hand, I choose one, lose a health, or discard a card. You don't have to discard the item. How many items? See how many cards I have here? Yes. <laughs> Three items. <laughs> I, I'm all. Ooh. And if I, I could take it. Well, it's gonna be. If you discard the... Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I, I might just health. take the health at this point because I'm going to gain it back anyway. Actually, and one of them I can't because one of them will finish me. No, I can't. I got to do it. Uh, that's not true. Do what I you got to do. 
Ugh, I could discard one, really. Keep in mind, he yes. is at five. You've got two more there is what I'm seven. Saying. If you'd have one more attack, all heroes gain one and draw a card. That would depend on one of these cards if it gets pulled. Oh. Well, well, keep the one that has attack. No, no, for sure. There's a card I can discard because it's still going to give me benefits anyway. Okay. So I can just so discard that. that. So let's that. do that. So yep. let's discard my chocolate frog, okay. which is going to give me influence anyways. Yep. And a health. And... Because it and, forced you to discard a card. That's right. Then I also gain another attack and another health. Yes. So that's one. You still have two more to deal with. And I can deal with this actually right now. You could. But first you need to resolve that. True. So you still have two more, two more items. So I that's... would just take, at this point, I would take the two hits. Okay. So you get to play what you have left. And now let's just deal with this because... Okay. So before we carry on with that, like, yes, apply that. And you're dealing three damage. Correct. So we then this is also going to happen. So one, two, three. So I'll gain a health. Yep. This and now is Fluffy goes bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> so the reward is all heroes gain a health. Okay, I think I've scared you know tool away. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so all heroes gain a health. Yep. And draw a card. Big money, big money, big money. How many cards did I discard? Uh, so I discarded one, one so one. I should have lost another. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, forgot about that. Um, okay. Okay. That's not so terrible. Let's just put this on the table. That's my detention, which basically <clears throat> does nothing. Yep. Dobby, remove one Ooh, fantastic. from the location, yep. and I get to draw a card. Yeah, Dobby's great. This is fantastic. <laughs> and then I'm going to play Pig Widgeon, which allows me to either gain one attack or gain two health. I think at this point I will gain one attack. There's a reason why. Okay. I have Fleur, which allows me to gain two influence. And if you play another ally, I also gain two health. Nice. That's why I didn't bother. Okay. And then I have my Polyjuice, which lets me oh, copy nice. an ally. So I think I'll copy Dobby, yes. which will remove another one Excellent. and allow me to draw another card. Okay, so this is Clean Sweep 11. I gain an attack, and it says if you defeat a villain, also gain one influence. Which you won't be. No, because that happened prior but to me. But still, a productive turn, I nonetheless. Think so. so let's, uh, I'm assuming we want to throw it here. Or do we want to get rid of Quirrell? I don't mind either of those being in play. Ultimately, he, it, it, comparing the two, yes. he is always lose one. They These are sometimes are lose sometimes. one. Sometimes. Yeah, so. Ultimately, that is the worst of the two, but frankly, that's not bad compared to what could be coming out of that deck. So I can just toss it here yeah. to spread the love a little bit. Sure. And then I have one. So that, two, that's another sort three, of small strategy that, that we've been using is kind of trying to control the villains that are out there. Some that aren't that bad, let them sit and deal with the really bad ones one at a time. Because if you just try and kill as many as you can, you might get a really bad combination of two or three coming out all at once. And then you're going to have a tough time dealing with that. So these ones, I don't mind that those are in play. It's what's in here that's more scary than those. So I have a total of five influence. <laughs> so as pensive as any two heroes, uh, each gain one influence to draw a card. There's also the Nimbus, gain two attack. If you don't gain two influence. Those are poor. Uh, I'm thinking like the, Nimbus the Nimbus might be looking good. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get rid of the five. Attack for you is always a good thing. Do that. Did I play anything that was even? I drew a lot of cards, so I played one, I played two. Each time you play a card with an even Good call. value, so any one hero gains one health. I could use some health. So you can take both, actually, Yay, because thank I'm you. pretty high up there. Good job remembering that. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's it for that. Also, someone asked a question here. Okay. Um, what, uh, hold on a second here. <gasps> Sorry, finishing some stuff on CO2. Excited. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I digress. There was an actual question in here. Someone had asked about a card. Here we go. What is Mandy's special card next to the tokens? This one? This one. <laughs> okay, that's probably what they're asking him. This is the, the first encounter that was out. The reason this is staying in play... I'll go through the whole thing, just in case anybody came in after. So, encounters are in the middle. We do need to resolve all three of these before we can get to uh, Lord Voldemort at the bottom. They have an ongoing effect that is a negative. 
So in the case of this first one, at the end of each turn, if an active hero has four health or less, they only get to draw four cards instead of five. The way you complete this is play two cards with an even value in one turn, and Mandy was the first to do that. So because she finished that, the reward on this card is each time you play a card with an even influence value, any one hero gains one heart. So Mandy's keeping that there as a reminder to check the cards that she's played to see if she played anything with an even influence value, in which case one of us will get to heal one every time she does that. All right, so I had to grab a detention card because I'm shuffling. Yep. Back to five. And a new villain. New villain. And it is a Death Eater. This is a game five card. I'll show a Death Eater. And each time that spell, Mor 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 which I've, I've had to say out a few times, I think I'm the only <laughs> one that's drawn it. Uh, each time that spell or a new villain is revealed, all heroes lose a health. So this is, this is the card actually that I was talking about earlier when somebody was asking about the creature villains. That is the key word villain. Anytime a new villain is revealed, and it needs to be a villain. If it's a creature that comes out, it doesn't trigger this. Uh, Mr. Pobler has a question. Is regeneration yes. still in the Dark Arts deck? It'll heal and waste or attack spreads. Everything, yeah, everything still is still there. in the Dark It just keeps on adding. So right now, the Dark Arts deck is up to 49 cards between the entire base game and the first uh, first box from the expansion. And if anyone's worried about time, yes, the games do progressively get longer. Now it is taking a little mm -hmm. bit longer because we're chatting and yeah. in between, but they do get longer. We yep. uh, we got through this with just playing, not you know not teaching. Uh, we had gotten through this, I'd say, in about an hour, hour and a half, a because we actually that. played back to back. Yeah, that's true. So I think we got two games in in about three hours. I would say so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's counting, you know, resetting everything. So yeah. <gasps> Yes! An artist agrees with me about the Harry <laughs> Potter art. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I, I completely agree as well. It, uh... it, it kind of turned, I'm not going to lie, it actually turned me off a lot. And yep. then I said, okay, I'll give it a chance. And I'm grateful that I like the game. <laughs> Let's yep. just go with Look that. past the art, look past <laughs> the, the movie stills that they have on it. I see that. The first thing I think is it's just an intellectual property slapped onto a game. Right. And they're trying to, trying to you know, score off of that. But no, there, there is a game There is a game here. here. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, so it's over to me? Yep. And we're going to power through and this deck. And we're looking at two Dark Arts cards. So we'll start with that. Petrification. No! All <laughs> heroes lose one. Oh, come on. And cannot draw extra cards oh, this why? turn. Oh, why? Why? And, well, you asked for it. You got it. <laughs> Regeneration. There it is. <laughs> Remove two, uh, two damage from all villains. Now, frankly, I don't care that the two damage is gone from those because... I each? don't mind. Yep. Oh wow. Yeah, from all villains, uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, I I know what you're saying now because we had spread it out two on each. I don't care about these yeah. two. Like I was saying before, managing the villains I think is a very key strategy in this game. These are probably two of the least punishing. Now that we've got those two set up, we're kind of just gonna keep targeting whatever is here unless an easier one comes out, um, because they they don't hurt as bad. So I don't care that that uh, that regenerated. Now, I'm going to leave this one on top. <laughs> Mr. Power, I hate that card so much. Yeah, Please it can be we. a pain. Um, <laughs> but frankly, if you play with the strategy of once there's a couple, one or two out there that aren't as bad as others, it doesn't matter if they heal because we're just going to leave them there. It, that's okay. All right. I'm going to leave that like that as a reminder that we cannot draw cards. So we're going to push on here. Each time a hero right shuffles, that's fine. I have not had to discard. I do lose one here. And nothing new, and that spell did not come out. Was it just okay. the one, or did you pull two? No, two. I oh, pulled two. Regeneration. Okay. Regeneration yeah. was the first one. Okay. Yeah. Just doing that so that... Yep. Yeah. Nope. It's good. Okay. Well, let's start with Finite. Goodbye. Control token. Yep. Next up. Uh, let's get Cedric Diggory in play. That gets me one attack, and I get to roll the... Gryffindor? No, Hufflepuff. no, Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Yes, died. no, he wasn't with Grimdors. Hufflepuff. Hmm, I don't know what I want. Let's see what I get first. Health. Do we want health? It is the health die. Odds are that's what's going to... Oh, but. yes. You know what? I'm going to take the health, but let's not actually take health. Let's put that on the encounter. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jack. And we appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much. Thank and you. we'll pass it along to Suzanne. Thank you so much. So with that roll, I'm actually putting this here. Yes. So that is half of that, of that encounter resolved. All right. So let's see here. I have no influence at the moment. One, two, three, four influence. 
that would only cost me three. And that's yes, the die rolling. Which uh, is yeah. good. Yeah. I okay. Think so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Tergio to gain an influence mm -hmm. and banish a card from my hand. I'm banishing another one of those basic spells. Huh, get my deck a little cards. more efficient. Oh. And then another Alomora gets me one. And my Time Turner gets me one. It lets me put spells on top, but I'm not looking at a spell. I'm looking at an item. Another copy of the Hogwarts A History, which normally costs four, but as I said before, because it's a die rolling card, I get a one influence discount, so it only costs me three. That goes to discard, mm -hmm. and that is now our new target. Alrighty. Is that our new target? Is that our yeah, new target? Yeah, well, these are the two that you said. They're all not. kind of similar now, right? right? Because he's a situational lose one. He's a definite lose one. This is he's active, a and this is also Maybe he's our new target, active. actually. Actually, no, this is for all heroes. This is just for the active. Yeah. Well, it's 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 every time you discard. It's yeah, still, causes it's still, a hero. Yeah. Yeah. That hero. But it's still situational, one. right? True. And this one's situational based this on that guaranteed spell. Guaranteed that the active. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Which one do you... Uh, which one's looking at you the wrong way? <laughs> well, I'm looking at them upside down. So which one's been, looking at you the wrong way? He's been on here for quite some time, and this is, but this is a constant. Yeah. So... It might be what uh, what <laughs> keeps you alive or stunned, so this is like might happen. Yeah. All right. Let's, so let's I think go here. Should, yeah, that's wise. Let's do that. You're good. Kay. Did you have to shuffle at all? Not yet, but I'm almost there. Wingardium Next. Leviosa. Next turn. That's good. Did you want to... <laughs> no, that's your character. Okay. That's all for you. <laughs> so that's refilled. Okay, here we go. So I have to... Draw. Leviosa. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. First one, he who must not be named, add one to the location. Yep. yep. Menacing Growl, all heroes lose one health for each card in hand with a value of exactly three influence. Hmm. Okay, so I will lose one health because I have one card with that. Oh, this is an ugly hand. Oh, wow. No. Okay. Is, that, is there a lot of three? <laughs> no, no, it's just, it's a lot of nothing. Uh, so, oh, Ian, okay, uh, this is year seven, right? Uh, no, this is box one sorry. of the expansion. Oh, we just went... Okay, sorry. Yeah. I keep getting screwed up. Box one of the expansion, but what, what we're playing... The entire base. The entire base game is plus, here. yeah. So, yeah. sorry. The reason why I say that is because, really, we went through all of it to year seven. Yep. Which is really the way you want Undefeated. to play this. Undefeated. Yes. And then we added in the expansion and with... got our butts whooped. <laughs> everything <laughs> yeah. else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. So that happened. That's not going to happen yet. Did you take two? That was, Those yes. were the two. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that did not happen. Active hero loses one. And Mas Madre, Mors Mordre was not yep. flipped. Okay, here we go. I, mean, I feel like there's something else that I should be looking at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's start with the easy cards. So this is going to allow me to gain one influence. Mm -hmm. So I can gain two or draw a card. I don't have any limitations. Huh. But I don't think there's anything I'm dying for at the moment. I would you say? I'm thinking, should I draw a card? Although, I do have a card that's going to allow me to draw three cards and discard any two. Hmm. So, if, if that's one of the cards you have in hand, yes. I would actually recommend keeping that in hand as something okay. to potentially discard when you draw, right? Because that is such a, a basic that's card. That's very true. Yep. Now I'm debating if I want to. You know what? Let's do this first. This might... Let's play Cho. Mm -hmm. So draw three cards, mm -hmm. and then I can discard any two. And it's not from the cards drawn. It's any two in your hand, which yeah. is why I recommended keeping that basic card in Mandy's hand as something to discard. Well, there we go. So it'll be these two. Yep, that's fine. Which is fine. But now I also get to roll the... And that is the one that specializes in card draw, which is what we need here. Well, uh, unfortunately... Unfortunately, you don't get to re-roll, so... That's not... Uh, <laughs> Not what we ended so, up with. <laughs> influence each. Oops. <laughs> Still a benefit. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so this allows me to... Hold on a second. I just want to see how much monies I'm getting here. Mm. Oh, but I kind of like that. So I'm going to play this now, actually. Choose an ally. You've played this turn. You may copy effects of that ally. Okay. So I'm going to draw three more cards. Oh, that is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating. 
well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to pay for it, but I don't care. So I do have a detention in there, okay. but I'm getting rid of it, which will take me down here. Okay. Fine. Um, but I get to do this. And that was two cards you discarded? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it was the detention and another. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yep. sorry, I didn't show it. That's all right. Uh, so it was an attack. Yep. So Thank you. you. Need to get an attack. Get an attack. This will work out, I promise. I so trust you. Now I have a choice of gaining two attack. Oh, sorry, gaining two influence or drawing a card. I do have more detention in there. Okay. Mind you, I could pull it and get rid of it. Well, uh, <laughs> what are we thinking here? I have influence to get what I need. That's okay. not the issue. Huh. And I've managed to pull quite a few of my ones out. Yikes. Oh. Um, Would, yeah, maybe take a look at that because then I can just... Basically, it's giving me two influence, and I, right now, I really, at, you know. If the influence doesn't do you any good, then I'd say draw a card. I don't. It's not a huge deal. Okay. As I suspected. One more influence? <laughs> <laughs> not even. Okay. <laughs> so, basically, draw that card. So, I'm going to gain an influence with this card. Yep. Uh, I'm going to play Ginny, so I'm going to gain an attack and an influence. Then I'm going to play Sirius Black, which is going to gain me two attack nice. and one influence. And then I'm going to play Birdie Bots Beans, which is going to gain me an influence. Nice. And for each ally played, I gain attack one, two, three. So I gain another three. Boom. One, two, three. And this is just another detention card, which I just played into my hand. So with all of this happening, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, before so, you do that, yes. and before we forget, how many even cards did you just play there? So one, two, three, three. Three? So three health. So let's, yeah, let's distribute three health. So I will be getting health soon in other ways okay. as well, actually, depending what we do. Yep. So... Well, do you want to take two? I'll take one. Yeah, so I'll take two. You can take one. Yep. Now... I have seven here. So <coughs> now we need to, do you want me to get rid of this? Do we want to continue? We want to go down this path. Some's going to spill over. Uh, uh, and we have a question. Sure. So characters aren't in each book can still show up. Characters that aren't in each book. Are we talking about villain creatures? Or heroes? Because heroes are... We choose, right? Yeah, we, we choose our heroes to play. But these come up, like this is in game one, for example. The villains, so the way the villain deck works in the base game is you just keep adding the villains. And right. that deck gets thicker and thicker. The only thing that changes between them is the version of Lord Voldemort that you have at the bottom. So he comes in game five, right. and then there's a game six copy and a game seven, seven copy. He gets stronger and stronger. With the expansion, the oh, way that we've set squirrel. up, with ex the expansion, the way that we've set up is there are six new cards, four creatures, and two creature villains that come in. Those are definitely in the deck, and then you grab five random ones from the base game to make eleven, and then the game five copy of Lord Voldemort to make a total of twelve cards in there. Yeah. So yeah, there are going to be five random ones from the base game in there, and yeah. you won't know which ones are in there. Okay. So hopefully that yeah. answers the question. Okay, so are we thinking to mm. completely decimate? Uh, right, so... Depending, too, on the ability. Like, this is allowing us to draw a card. This is all heroes gain one influence and one health. And this is all heroes gain a health and remove one from the location, which is not... Removing, yeah, removing one from the location, we're okay right now. Agreed. And we have cards that can do it. So I think we want to save that for when it's more Give dire. Give one of these, too. I think we Let's might go as well way. go there. Yep. So, and this is going to trigger this. One, two, three, four... Five. And then I'd say the overflow. He's still tougher than this because with a new villain coming in, we're going right. to lose a health. So, yeah, I think he's... So, two. so because I've done um, added, assigned three or more, we each get, one. More, uh, we each get one health. Okay. And then, because he is defeated, yes. all heroes gain an influence and a health. Very nice. Thank influence. you. Welcome. And a Thank health. Thank you. And that is... Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. So now I have 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get all the monies. So, yeah. So basically, I can do a spell and an ally, or I can do... That's not a bad one for you. Gaining yeah. attack and drawing a card. So that and, and the ally. This is also not bad. The Wingardium Leviosa, which allows me to put items on top of my deck instead of in my discard. Mm -hmm. But I think you're right. Going with him and... Incendio yeah. might be a good option. I will like spend that. all six. All right, so let's do that. Good, good. We'll do this. That's discarded, and we did that. Oh, please don't say I have to shuffle. That would not go well. One, two, three, four. Nope, five. We're good. And then... All right, new villain. Yes. What do we have? And it is a villain creature. It is the Dementor coming in. Active Hero is going to lose two. This is now our new target. Because he is going to be quite punishing. He's got eight health. And every turn, Active Hero is going to lose two health. Not good. And you can see that he's going to trigger any time a card ref references villains or creatures. So, new target. Okay. So, <laughs> when, before I know Rebecca. I Sorry, I can't seem to find it in the chat here. But Rebecca had asked about what my favorite game was. Oh, here it is. Rebecca Matthews. My favorite game played in the marathon. So it's hard when you do those kinds of games because you're playing a lot of lighter games. And generally, people know me like to play quite heavy games, but they don't stream very well. So I was really wanting, I had really wanted to play um, Grim Forest. I had played it with, with James from um, Drew City Games, but I hadn't played a final copy. So I think that to me was a really fun one that we got to play that I was happy to see because I backed it and I was waiting for it. So that one was definitely up there for me. And um, it may not have been as fun for everyone else, but. Champions of Midgard, I had never played it, so I was getting an idea of the game. I actually really liked the gameplay, so I'm hoping mm. to try that again when I have a bit more time so we can actually get through it. So those were the ones that I really enjoyed. And like I said, with Champions of Midgard, I'd love to get through that again with all the expansions. Mm. So, But overall, all the games were quite fun. Which one did you enjoy, which one did you enjoy watching? Yes, that is the question. That was a very because good question. Because one, one side of it is playing, and, and you're getting to play, but the other side is which ones are actually enjoyable to watch on a stream like that. Absolutely. Okay. Ready? And one more question sure. from Ron. Do the rules explicitly say that all of the encounters must be defeated before Voldemort may be attacked? Yep. I know it says all other bad guys must be defeated first. All villains, creatures, and encounters must be gone before you can actually apply any attack to Lord Voldemort. Okay. Uh, or in the case of, even an example, uh, the Game 7 has the Horcrux cards, where there's, uh, I'm going to say, six cards in the middle instead of the three encounters. <laughs> Uh, they're slightly different, but it, it's the same idea, and they're Horcrux cards. All of those must be defeated before you can apply any damage to uh, Lord Voldemort. Okay. Okay, so first, Dark Arts card is Poison. All heroes choose one. Discard an ally or lose two health. <sighs> I think I will... I don't trust this, so I will discard an ally. However, <sighs> that will also gain me an attack and health. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that worked out in my favor. Actually. I'm going to, I only have one ally and it's Crookshanks. It's it's my kitty cat, but gotta go. frankly, it's a basic card. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. Next one. There it is. Mars Modra. Yeah. So first off, all heroes lose one. Yep. Add one to the location. Lovely. And because the Death Eater is in play, all heroes lose another one. Oh, that's just fantastic. <laughs> Next up. Oh, we did have to discard. Yes. Yes. We'll lose another one. Yes. Active Hero loses two. Oh, this is going quickly. And then we already resolved that. Yes. Oh, boy. And I am going to have to shuffle my next turn, which means this is going to trigger. And I don't think I have any dice rolling abilities. I do not. No bueno. All right. Well, this is a very basic turn. I've got three influence. Although I do have two still sitting there from what you were getting me. Mm -hmm. And one attack. Uh, that is now Dementor is the new target. Okay. Five influence, and then that's just my detention. Five influence. Oh. That would only cost me three. Right. Because so I do get the discount, and that leaves me two. There's yeah. Or this one. You can put items you acquire on top of your deck. I don't know if that really affects you as much. Not as much, no. But you can get this, which is health, yeah. which is nice. 
Crystal Ball is card draw. Draw two cards and discard any one. Yeah, okay, so for three, I get the discounted Hogwarts A History. And two more, I'm going to get Essence of... Disney? Dittany, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so those go to discard. This goes to discard. I need to shuffle, which means I get another detention yeah, card I into my deck. Yeah, I need to stop getting those because it's a problem. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Another Felix Felicis came out. Oh, nice. Which is really good. Yeah, if I can defeat this, we'll get to um, we'll get to banish some cards. Which we're but gonna need to do. I just shuffled my discard, so problem. Yeah, I might not want to do it until I get a uh, a detention out. All right, let's move this along here. All right, Crucio, active hero loses one health, and I get to reveal an additional card. So uh, lose one, and that's unfortunate. Okay, next. Uh, Hand of Glory, active hero, loses one health and adds one control to token to the location. Wow, I actually might get stunned this turn. Mm -hmm. Oopsie, there we go. If you have any way to save me, please do. I don't know, this is... Do you see what the I've got a, I, I actually got a good hand. <laughs> Educational Decree, for each card with a value of four or more influence in hand, act, active hero loses one. I'm stunned. I have two Kay. cards with that. Well, time. you were going to be stunned here anyway. Regardless. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, well, so first is discarding half of your hand, rounded down. Wow, this is such garbage. <laughs> okay, so I'll get rid of that. Actually, okay, so I'll get rid of this. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if this triggers if I discard it. I, I don't know. My yep. chocolate frog. So yep, there you go. So then I gain one influence and, well, health is not of... The ability, uh, the cards that have the ability of gaining something when it's discarded, that also counts when you're discarding cards because of being stunned. Right. So that happened. Uh, before that, though, you would also lose. That's that, right. This yeah, would have been gone. Yeah, because that was from. Because I was stunned, so yep. that was. And then we also gone. put a control token on the location. Okay, that's not looking so good. All right. And everything else is health that you can't lose. So. Wow. Onward. Right. Two cards. Okay. And if you can keep me alive, please do. I'll try my best. So remove one control token from the location. Okay. And excuse me, draw a card. Well, that's kind of good. And then if I play Fleur, I gain two influence. Nice. And if I play another ally, which <gasps> doesn't do a thing for me, I gain two health. Mm. Just me, can't take it. Dope. Nimbus, gain two attack. Oops, that should go there. I would have had three if I had not to lose the other one. Mm. If you defeat a villain, also gain two influence. Dope. That's not going to happen, so... Oh, uh -huh, which means I'm going to get stunned too. Oh no. <laughs> so I'm going to put two there. Okay. I've got three influence. I can get the crystal ball or I can get the spell, which allows me to put items on the top of my deck. Which I'd means... say go for the crystal ball. Yeah. Yeah. It just seems Drawing, like it's a bit of a Card draw is always great. Yeah. Any deck builder, card draw is always a good thing. I concur. Even if it's drawing out the weaker cards, at least you're cycling through your deck. And faster. did I play any? So here we go. I played mm. two even. Yeah, you did. So you can take those two health because I can't use them anyway. Will it be enough? Hmm. <laughs> Let's find out. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm just make sure that no questions. Okay, mm -hmm. we're good. And I'm going to have to shuffle. Okay. Oh. I need to shuffle. That is... You know how many of these I have in my deck right now? Like five. <laughs> Two dark arts. Oh, no. Oh, it's a good thing. You, I'm still going to get stunned, but <laughs> the first card is Avada Kedavra. Okay. Active hero loses three. That puts me down to one. <laughs> if it's done the hero, add an additional token to the location. We got to avoid that okay. because otherwise that's I would have been stunned there. Yeah, so that's that saves his token. I do need to draw an additional, so I'll put that underneath my second card. Crucio, active hero, loses one, <laughs> which means I'm stunned, <laughs> and reveal an additional. I'll put that under my oh, third card. Oh, this is not good. Air of Slytherin means I roll the Slytherin die. And a card says, all heroes discard a card. I get to re-roll, and I will. Influence oh, <laughs> says add one to the <laughs> location. Oh, no. And I will have to resolve this. Well, thank well, you, Joel. Sorry, I'm going to... So, Joel made a comment. He's yep. like, you know, we, you don't quite ring a bell with me personally. That's totally fine. But I have to say that I'm glad you're more involved with the Dice Tower. I sincerely hope that uh, the Dice Tower grows and uh, that you'll make a great impact. Cool. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And listen, at the end of the day, 
We're not going to like the same games as everybody. Hell, heck, mm. our personalities are going to be different than everybody. Mm. But you know what? I think that's a lovely thing, and that's what I do. I hope uh, it brings new people or different types of people to the Dice Tower. And if I can do that, hey, that's awesome. So thank you. OK, so I'm still drawing these. I still have to resolve my stunnage, but uh, with the Dark Arts, uh, losing three, and if it stuns me, an additional token, but I'm already stunned, so that does not affect. However, I have to reveal the fifth Dark Arts card. Oh boy. Active hero chooses another hero. <laughs> Gee, so I wonder who that is. You should be full health. Yes, I apologize. That should Minus have been up. Minus two. Yep. And reveal another one, because this is so fun. <laughs> this is card number revealed? six. <laughs> Menacing Growl. All heroes lose one for each card in hand with a value of exactly three. Doesn't affect me because I'm already stunned, but do you have any cards with an exact value of three? Thank goodness, no. Okay, so first <laughs> off, I will put another token on there. That, no bueno. Yes, I need that's to terrible. get rid of half of my hand. Oh, seriously. <laughs> so while you're thinking, Rebecca, there. yes, Pie Town was a good one. I think I had taught that game so much at PAX. That I was like, okay, read through the explanation, so I hope it wasn't too quick. But yeah, definitely a really fun game, and it was really quick to play because I know Sam knows it really well too. Z hadn't played it, so you know I got an opportunity to teach him and Graham as well. So I'm glad you enjoyed that one. It's a fun game. If you haven't tried it, you should. It's actually really cute, and I love the theme. So really great. Oh man. Okay, I'll discard these two. I have such a good hand. Okay. Those are gone. Oh, I'm getting so much love on the chat. Thank you so much. <laughs> I've had a rough start to the week, so this is making me feel much better. Uh, basically, the rest is just losing health, which I can't because I'm already stunned. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and this... <laughs> I'm trying to divert from your what's happening. This is not good. Yeah, if you can remove some of that, that would be fantastic. Uh, I'd have to do five damage, and I am not the damage dealer here. Although... Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, two... Three... Oh, it's so close. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. So for those of you wondering how much longer this is, hopefully you're enjoying it. Yep. We, we, we're getting there. So there's only a couple left, and then it hits. And then it hits Lord Voldemort. Correct. Yep. So okay. we are getting there. Let's go Sword of Gryffindor first. That gains me oh. two. And lets me roll. So many hearts. I love it. Thank you. That would. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you do a reroll? I can. Unless you need the influence. No, no. No. That's okay. That, that is actually what I'm looking for. Okay. Because if we get rid of that, that'll remove a token. So we each get an attack. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? I'm not saying the name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm letting. <laughs> uh, okay. And then I'm going to go Hogwarts. Can I get there? Yeah, so we're running a bit longer. I'm, I'm super chatty today, so I apologize. Uh, I'm going to choose any one house die to roll. I'm going to roll the Slytherin die, hoping to get an attack. Oh, card draw. Card draw. I could use that there. That doesn't help us right now, though. Mm -hmm. I'm at three. Yeah, it actually would help me, but In six. It would help me, but I don't know if it would help you, because I have a detention and I have quite a few in my hand. Ooh. Right, I wouldn't be triggering that right away because ah. this is we can trigger it at some point. Right, right I right. don't have anything here to discard yet, so that would be. You're right. Waste. That's right. That's right. Um, so I could remove it, but we're, there's no benefit. It's not going to necessarily happen this right now. This will actually let us get rid of a control token. Yes. I'm at six. So, so here's what here here are my options. Okay. I do have a reroll. Okay. The Slytherin die specializes in attack, mm -hmm. which would put it at seven. Or I could draw a card and hope there's attack there. And I have one more card draw in my hand. So I'm thinking I'm going to re-roll, okay. try and get the attack, and then draw a card and hope there's one more attack sitting there. Yeah. As long as it doesn't hit health, we're all right. <laughs> health is not really I'm going. the priority. <sighs> card draw. Okay. Again, this is not going to get us a benefit right now. We've both just shuffled, so there's no there's no rush on that. So let's draw a card. Okay. Yep. Oh, for oh that's okay. I get to remove one from the location. Ha <laughs> ha. I feel better about that. So I'm seeing in the chat something about a possible, like another expansion for Harry Potter. 
So now that, I don't know if people know, but uh, this podcast with Suzanne and I has been sponsored by USAopoly. So this is something that we can look into and maybe we can make an announcement about it on the podcast if I get information. So stay tuned. I'm playing this to draw a card. Ooh. Cedric Diggory says I get an attack and I get to roll the Hufflepuff. Yes. <laughs> Come on, attack. Oh. I just need and one more to finish that. And you don't need a reroll, or do you have a reroll? I have a reroll. Okay. That's what I'm considering. Let's just take the card draw because the health isn't going to do me any good. So. so to be to be honest, I actually don't know if there's an expansion, but I will do my best to see what I can say. <laughs> draw a card. Okay. <sighs> All heroes okay. choose one. Wow, I got a lot of cards. Gain an influence or health. Influence. I can't gain health, so I'll gain an influence. Yep. And then I get to roll. Oh, yes, I get to roll the Slytherin die. Okay, you need this. There it is. Attack. Attack. Everybody gain an attack. There Thank you. you. You're that welcome. is five attack. <laughs> Bad and that is, is right. all I need. Boom. <laughs> <I love it>. <laughs> <laughs> that is all I need to get and rid of that Dementor. You're done. That was a long way to get there, yeah, but I got it there. It really was. Whew. I'm not. Well, I, I don't normally do all the attacking, so this is exciting for me. Normally, uh, Mandy specializes in the attacking. Okay, all heroes gain two health. I don't get the benefit for that because I'm stunned, but you can go to full health. Yahoo! And remove another one from the location. So I've taken two off of there. So we've got some more breathing space. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I feel better about that. Uh, yes, Joel, yeah. I will try and sneak onto there. I know uh, Dave, uh, so we're talking about the podcast with um, Dan. The game is broken. I've listened to it. They're hilarious. I've met them in person, so they're all really, really funny. I don't know if I could be up to their comedic standards <laughs> mm -hmm. but it would definitely be a fun one to join in one time so you never know it could happen okay we have a new creature coming in we've got a troll oh man active hero chooses one lose two health or put a detention in your discard pile which just means those start stacking up even more lovely so new target is the troll <laughs> over to you i've done my job yeah, I see that. Okay, well, let's start here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're getting still with two. Imperio, active hero, chooses another hero to lose to health. Sure. Reveal an additional dark arts card. Oh, uh, here we go. Slip that under there. All heroes lose two health and cannot gain health this turn. Ooh, okay. Okay, and finally, active hero loses two health, all other heroes lose one health. Mm. Wow, that didn't start off well. And we cannot gain health this turn. No. Okay. So, yeah, okay, moving on. Each time, okay, that hasn't happened, no discarding. Active hero chooses one, lose two health, or put a detention in your discard pile. Seriously, I'm looking at a couple of in <laughs> my hand mm. right now. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, that's tough. I can't take more detention. Seriously, I haven't gotten rid of a single one. But don't forget, one. you also won't be able to heal anything this round. Yeah. Oh, I might have to. It's your call. It's your call. I might have to take it. It's just a filler at this point. Yeah. So, and it's going in my discard at least. Yeah. So. So you have time because you still have, you've got yeah. a fresh deck there, so. But this doesn't trigger, I'm hoping. No, no. Okay, thank nope. goodness. Um, each time, okay, and that doesn't happen because that did not come up. Now, here's where I'm going to point out. I'm just going to show these. Yes. So the ability on, just this is something to keep in mind. The ability on the Death Eater is each time that that spell or a new villain is revealed, all heroes lose a health. We didn't lose health here because this is not a villain, this is a creature. And that's where those key words do make a difference. So yes, I know Dave Lutz, his wife, it's Ilka. She is fantastic. We get along really well. We had a, in essence, she uh, came over to the hotel with Suzanne and I. We were supposed to have like a, you know, girl's night. And well, it was a girl's night of punching games. So Ilka, if you're watching, I need to promise you a better girl's night out. <laughs> that sounds very aggressive. Actually, we Just all enjoyed punching ourselves games. punching out games. Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> okay. Moving along here. Okay, a lot's happening here. So let's just start with the easy stuff. So let us gain two influence. Okay. I'm going to just put my detention card there because there's nothing going to happen with it. Um, okay, this can happen. Gain an attack and draw a card. We'll play my Nimbus, mm -hmm. which is gaining two attack. 
If I defeat a villain, I will also gain two influence. One, two, three, four, five. I could defeat here, but we're aiming here. Yeah, he's uh, he's very punishing. It'll happen, so I'm not worried about it. So that's great. So we'll just put this beside that. So we're going to gain another attack. Nice. And again, it's another if I defeat a villain, I'll gain influence. Mm -hmm. I think I'm one short. So I have a card which I can either, well, no, I can gain, do two of these things. So I can gain two attack. Oh, beautiful. Which is going to do that. Um, and I can also draw two cards. Do it. Which I think would be, I can draw, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's so good. It's not <laughs> even funny. So let's deal with this first. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So Ooh, first, we're going to put shot. that there. Yep. I did assign three more attack. I cannot gain health. Correct. So, so that's that not that going to do anything. Yep. But uh, what is it that's stopping us from gaining health? Oh, this is right. that. Uh, the reward is all heroes gain one health and may banish an item from hand or discard pile. So we don't get to gain the health because uh. we are working from a current uh, a current um, dark arts card that says we cannot gain health this round. So we don't get that benefit, but we do get to banish an item from hand or discard. So I get rid of that detention that Absolutely. I picked up, so I'll just throw and that over there. that was all heroes, so I am yep. also going to get rid of... That must be in my hand. I know I saw one somewhere. Yep, I've got one as well. Okay. So I'm going to toss that over here. I'm assuming we're yep. still working on this as our next one. Until we see what comes up next. Right, yep. so because I defeated a villain, yeah, I had did. two cards that said, so I'm actually going to gain a total of three nice. influence because of those two cards oh but wait there's more <laughs> we can't do this all day exactly i know i'm sorry i'm moving it along here no uh, that was like i know but wait, no but, but yeah wait, there's more yeah <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't so, saying this I'm is like, taking too long oh, okay yeah. so i'm gonna play it sounded like an infomercial <laughs> <laughs> joe chang so but wait there's more draw three cards and then discard any two cards okay so i'm going to discard this one and I'm also going to discard my Chocolate Frog, yep. which will basically give me an influence because we can't gain health. Yep. And there's a good chance. Yes, I have to roll this. You could get that. Boom, there it is. So that is going to be done. Yep. But we that'll resolve at the end of the round. Right. So that's going to stay there. Yep. That was quite useful. Then I'm going to might as well play Fleur, which is going to give me two influence. I don't get the health. <laughs> oh wait, there's more. <laughs> then I get Maybe we can do this all day. <laughs> well, I'm gonna play this because, yeah, it's I have to. Dobby removes one mm. uh, control token from location, and I get to draw a card. Yes, please. Well, that wasn't so fun, but anyway, it's a detention card. That's and nice. the crystal ball, draw two cards, then discard any one card. Wow. That is... That's where, when you have cards like that, that's where you should keep these basic cards so that well, you have something to throw away. There, yeah, that's true. Right. That was wise. However, I actually didn't even see the card until yeah, now. That's okay. But I, the problem is I have a detention card, so if I discard it, I'll lose two. Yeah, no, you have to discard But it. I have something else that allows me to draw a card, but I can't heal, so I have no choice. So yeah. I have to discard this one. Yep. Which is too bad, but that's what happens there. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Crazy. So. Boom. Oh well, yeah, that's great for seven. <laughs> that's that's been very so good. So another another item that has the two options where you, Mandy will get to choose two things among drawing two cards, taking two health, doing two damage, or. Uh, damage, health, influence, or drawing two cards. Two influence, yeah. So I could take this with the last two that I have. Sure. Yeah, might as well, which allows me to put items on the top of my deck. Sounds good. So there we go. Wow. Well, that was a turn and a half. It sure was. Oh, wait. Well, no, we don't get health, because no. I was going to say, doesn't yeah. matter, because Otherwise, I had you would have been, yeah, you would have been uh, healing a lot it. of stuff. Okay. So. We're getting there. Oh. Right. I'll take that off. I'll look at the next. So there's... Lord Voldemort showing, but not in play yet. Uh, first up is Lucius Malfoy. <laughs> He's from game two, so even if you saw our other playthrough, you would have seen him. Each time a control token is added to the location, remove one attack from all villains. I don't know if that changes our order. Now, that is a new villain coming into play. Right, so uh, we're going to lose health. So we do each lose a health. Yep. Uh, you do get this. 
Al Bayan, thanks for joining us. Can't wait to see what Thank you're you. working on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is now yours because you're the one that triggered that. We can only pull the trigger on this on your turn. Yes. Um, right now is not a good time no. anyway because I don't have anything in hand. Uh, so the end is near. The end it's getting is there, near. yeah. Okay. Two Dark Arts cards. Here we go. Sectum Sempra. All heroes lose two health and cannot gain health this turn. Oh, oh for oh goodness boy. sakes. Back to back turns of not gaining health. I am health. going to get stunned. An Inquisitorial Squad. Active hero puts a detention in their hand. Then all heroes lose one health for each detention in hand. Well, that's going to be one. So just for the detention story, let's see. All heroes lose two. Oh, no, wrong one. What was I reading? Okay, active hero puts detention in their hand. Then all heroes lose one. Lose one for each. So one. Oh, boy. And I will also lose one. I'm down. totally stunned next turn. Uh, and I... Oh. Huh? I'm not. What? Not what? Not stunned. Uh... I didn't discard. That's nope. fine. Each time a control token is added, that's fine. And we already resolved that. So yep. I'm sitting at one health. Yeah. Now, we do have a new encounter card in play. This is the third encounter. It's the third floor corridor. Uh, encounter Fluffy. Heroes do not collect the rewards for defeating villains and <sighs> creatures. So we don't get any of the benefits Lovely. on the bottom of those cards unless we can get rid of this first. And the way that we get rid of this... Play two allies, two items, and two spells in one turn. Which for me is quite doable. Yeah, you are usually able to do that because you've got all the allies. So right. that's going to be on you I to do. So. Hopefully you can do that sooner than later. Although we can't get health. Oh, goodness, I'm stunned next turn. Right. Just FYI. <laughs> well, I probably will be as well. Just from what you draw, that'll hurt me. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. Um, hmm. Can't do anything about that. <laughs> it's getting near the... Oh, yeah. boy. Who are we focusing on? Lucius? Uh, I think we might as well just keep going keep here. Keep going to the Death Eater? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because he's... he. Oh, no, you know what? Okay. So this is where you do need to be careful. <laughs> so if, when, Lord Voldemort comes into play, the ability is active hero loses one health and discards a card, and you cannot assign any attack to him, until all other villains and creatures are gone and the encounter is gone. Mm -hmm. Which means we're actually better off trying to equalize damage and then remove as many as possible so that we just have him left in play. So we're not always having to deal with uh, all of the negative effects. So I think we'll try and try and build them up and then remove a whole bunch at the same time. Yeah. So we're as long as regeneration, that's where regeneration would really hurt. So we're definitely going to power through because I noticed yeah. a lot of people have got to go. So we're going to try and get through this. Okay, Hogwarts of History is going to come into play. I think I'm just going to go for damage. What do you think? Yeah, I think at this point just need to get rid of Or card draw. Actually, that would help card me to, to get rid get of that. that. Yeah, okay. that I'm gonna would be go, good. I'm going to go for card draw. Nope, I get a reroll. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we get and we can't take it. and we can't take out <laughs> oh wow what are the odds of that being absolutely awful okay well one two three uh i've got three to spend there's turgio gain one influence may banish a card in your hand it is an item draw card mm, it'll be nice for you to get that but there's nothing else for me to purchase should i take it uh voldemort is not in play no, he's not. So someone keeps saying if they're, we're checking uh, if, if Voldemort should be hitting us already, no. he's not in play. No, we're just looking at the bottom three. Uh, when you stack the deck, you actually put him face up on the bottom of the deck when you are setting up originally. So he's face up, letting you know that he will be coming into play as soon as one of these three spots open. Yeah. But he is not in play yet. Yes. So Which is why I was saying we're going to try and stack up damage on all of them and then try and remove as many as possible in one turn so that he's not sitting there hurting us while we have to get rid of everybody else first. Yeah, so anybody who's in Twitch will have seen this right on time. Anybody in YouTube is going to take a bit to catch up here. Okay, so I've got three to spend. I don't know. I'd like to leave that for you. There's nothing else I can buy, though. Take what you can get at this point. Yeah, cause you think? Yeah, I think that might be the way to go. All right. I wish I could scrap from somebody else's deck, but... So yeah, that goes in there. Great. And that is me. Not a very strong turn. All right. Oh. 
there's another one. Okay, another well, that's fine. The then the I don't mind taking that. All right. <laughs> uh, here's the knuckle. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the shuffling thing doesn't happen anymore. So, okay, yeah, we're good. All right, so I'm actually going to have to, yeah, get you to do a little shuffly shuffly. You can go ahead and resolve that first. Sure. So, a pungo. Oh, this is a pugno, excuse me. This one's never a good one. All heroes reveal the top card of their deck. Heroes that reveal a card with a value of one or more influence discard it and lose to health. Oh boy. Okay. Well, well, it's six. So. So. Oh. Reveal a discard card it. with a value of one or more. Discard it and lose to health. So I'm discarding. Oh. I know, such a good one. Oh. And I lose. Oh. I wish I could discard that. And I'm stunned. The detention card. <laughs> so that's gonna happen. Okay. So, officially stunned. Okay. So I got a little drop. Oh, that's such a good hand. Half my hand. And you do still have one I more I still to have draw, one more so to we'll do. just put that aside. Yep. Go ahead. And we're going to do that. Yep. Mind you, if I discard this, what does it matter at this point? Actually, when this got discarded, I sh well, it won't matter because I'm going to lose it anyway. So I would have received a attack, yep. but because I'm stunned. Yep. So I'm getting rid of a detention. Okay, and we'll get rid of Gilderoy Lockhart. If you discard this, draw a card. Nothing's preventing me from drawing cards, is it? And this is going to trigger. Nope. Okay, good. Well, that's garbage. Ugh, that's awful. And this is, yeah, I'm there. Okay. I had five cards, yeah. All right. We're good, right? Yep. So make sure I didn't miss anything. Petrification. All heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. Active hero draws five at the end of the turn. Okay. Cannot draw cards. Uh, okay. So that, wow. Okay, kind of glad I got rid of that. Well, the odds are pretty good. You weren't doing that anyway with no. four cards in hand. Uh, causes the hero to dis... Each time a dark arts event or villain causes the hero to discard a oh. card. Before you carry on, that was yes. all heroes lose one? Correct. I'm stunned then. You're stunned now. And oh, this is going to look... And then this is going to happen twice. Okay. Oh, this is so, not going well. Two cards gone. I'm just going to check here. Added here. Okay. So, yes. For Voldemort. Gone. It, as Michael said, just in case anyone's joining us now, when we're placing the deck here, Voldemort is placed face up. But he cannot... He's going to come into play once one of these are removed, but we cannot assign any damage until we've defeated the uh, encounter, as well as defeating the other creatures or slash villains. Yep. So, but yes, I know it's confusing because it's face up, but it is not in play. So that's me. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so now, okay. So now we go here. That didn't happen. Each time one is added to the location, remove one attack. So we're moving both of these. Uh, okay. Just one. I took one off for mine. I wasn't sure if you had taken one off for yours. So. Oh, you did take one yeah. off already? Okay. Yeah. So no, I hadn't taken okay. it for mine. Okay. okay. And Mos Modre did not come up. Or a new villain is revealed, all heroes lose one. Yep. No, nope, we're, we're good. good. And we're stunned, so we can't lose anything we else. We can't lose any health anyway. So, okay. So. Well, that's unfortunate. Mm. Oh, that card is useless. Absolutely useless. Okay. Well, my Polyjuice is no good because I no longer have an ally that I can use. Um, wow. These cards were set up so well. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to gain two influence. Oops, two. And then I'm going to gain one. I don't have any allies, so the second portion of that card does not come into play. Wow. Whole three influence. I guess I could take this one. Yeah, you need that. Because I have a few things I could banish. And Speaking two. of which, mm -hmm. now would be a good time to trigger that. Right. I think. So let's see. So let's get yeah. rid of that because I can't spend it. And then once per game you may discard this, then all heroes may banish a card in their hand or discard pile. Yep. Yeah. So now we both have a detention in here. So right. Let's so get this is going to go bye bye. Yep. Let's That's throw it there. Yep. And I'm going to get rid of banish, I should say, that detention. Mm -hmm. And this card doesn't trigger because we can't get any health. So because you're also stunned. Oh, we're both stunned. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. So then that's going to go back to ten. Yep. So we both heal back up. Three. Okay. So I'm going to have a short turn here. Okay, so. 
Okay, so here's a roll from Peter. So, Poe Bear, it looks like we're right on this one. The Lord Voldemort card is placed face up on the bottom of the villain stack. Like other villains, his ability is active as soon as he is revealed. Really? Okay, well, there you go. So, so as soon as, and that would explain why he would be face up, I guess. Okay. Well, it would not have changed anything because we both got stunned that round anyway. Right, exactly. So that was going to happen regardless. Okay. All right. Well, so we'll play it like that then. So <laughs> thank you, Peter and Poe Bear. We will play such as that. Okay. So active right away. So losing a health and discarding a card, eh? Okay, well, first off, here. Uh, hmm. More small. All heroes lose one. Mm -hmm. Add one to the location. And every time one is added to the location, gone. So he's our new target now. Forget that. Right, because there's nothing we can do about <clears throat> Voldemort. Next. All heroes lose one for each card in hand with a value of exactly three. None. No, that's great, Peter. Thank you, because we go through so many of these games for playthroughs, and we try our best to get those nitty gritties, and we're usually pretty yeah. good. And that would make sense, him being face up. Mm -hmm. So, no, that's greatly appreciated because yes, other people are watching sure. and would want to know. So Yeah, we don't want to be misleading anybody. Exactly. Sure. So, no, 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 it's important. Uh, so, yes, all heroes lose one for each card in hand with a value of three. Uh, at least, like, exactly three? Value of three. Oh, we're good. Okay. <laughs> so, that's both of those. Uh, so, then next, I lose one and need to discard a card. And I've only got three in my hand. <laughs> it's looking rough for you, I'm not going to lie. Uh, that does me no good, so I'm just going to get rid of that. All right, and then uh, I did have to discard one, so I lose a health. I already resolved that. You did uh, Voldemort already? And okay. already, yep. Okay. Okay, so we've resolved all of these. Yes. Okay. So I've got two cards in hand. <laughs> Any one hero gains two health. Joshua, you are so you right. You don't need it. I'm taking two. <laughs> and uh, Crookshank says I'm going to take one attack, and I'm just going to sign it here. That's my turn. <laughs> As weak as that was, <laughs> that was my turn. <laughs> yeah, that is not good. Okay. So we actually might die. <laughs> we'll see. We're, we're, we're almost there. Yeah, all right. So and you're getting some good card combinations going, too, as hopefully well. Hopefully so. they stay. Crucio, active he uh, hero loses one, reveal an adar additional dark arts event. So yep. that happens. Lependo, active hero loses one health and discards a card. So I will discard... This one, uh, yes, discard this card, which will in turn mm -hmm. give me an attack and a health. Mm -hmm. And finally, Avada Kedavra, active hero loses three health. One, two, three. If this stuns the hero, which it does All not, right. oh, reveal an additional dark arts card. For each card with a value of four or more influence in hand, active hero loses one. Uh oh. I'm just losing one. Okay. So that's not so bad. Okay, for each time a dark arts... Okay, sorry, starting here. Active hero loses one. Wow, this is not going to go well. And discards a card. All right. Which triggers mm -hmm. this. Uh, so I'm gaining a health and an attack. Yep. May not be assigned... Okay, no, we got that. Each time a dark arts event or villain causes a hero to discard a card, to lose one, so I will actually be losing... Two, because it happened twice. Yep. Each time, so I don't think we've added. Nope. And each time, most modres. Nope. No. So we're good. Wow. Okay. I went from a really great hand to a really poor hand. Womp womp. So you need to get rid of him if you can. So someone's asking if the previous victories don't count. With, but he didn't come out until when did he come out? We've only had the one... He uh, might have been out a couple of turns, That's really I think. hard to say. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, can you get rid of him? Oh, this is a problem. Him? Him. No. Not going to happen. So, basically, choose one, gain attack or two health. Attack. Let's, let's try and... Uh, Let's and try and power through here. Gain an attack or an influence. So okay. we'll just gain an attack. Yep. Uh, this I can gain one influence, which is really not doing oh, anything for you me. Got him then. Oh yeah, okay. And then each ally, so I get another two attacks. Absolutely. <laughs> Sweet. Now we're getting not getting anything for it. Oh wait, no. 
And I played one of these, so that's going to happen, but we'll just do this first. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, we're not going to get the benefit from five, oh, six. Oh, boy. So that's going to add that here for a total of seven. Yep. Won't matter. Benefit doesn't do a darn thing. But because I assigned three or more, yep. uh, we're all going to gain one. And then I think that's it for that. And then I'm also going to gain one because of this. Each time I play an even card, mm -hmm. a value with an even influence, which I did. So I'm going to take it because yep. it's the one. And that is the end of my turn. This influence is no that's good fine. to me. You got rid of him, so yeah. that's fine. Wow. Okay. Four. Yeah, it's too bad we don't get the benefit from that. But uh. here we go. Two cards. Fiend fire. All heroes lose three. All heroes lose three. Sorry, I'm just looking at it. Okay. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh. And Sectum Sempra. All heroes lose two. I'm stunned. And cannot gain health. Oh, oh I'm stunned. What <laughs> is happening right now? I'm stunned. Okay. I'm stunned. Yeah, the expansion really whew, makes it tricky. So resolve your stun. Okay, well, this is garbage. So let's get rid of the chocolate frog first. Mm -hmm. Any, uh, so basically, I gain an influence and a health. Well, mm -hmm. no health, so just the influence. Um, and I might as well get rid of this card, because I have no... Uh, hold on. That's not true. Let's get rid of this card here. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then, control token gets added here, but does not resolve the location yet. Mm -hmm. I will lose a health and discard a card. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> uh okay. Oh, first game in the expansion. <laughs> Brutal. I think. Oh boy. Yeah, this is this is I'm gonna discard the detention card and suffer the two damage. Ooh. Um, because I'm going down anyway. Oh boy, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Yeah, because we cannot afford, no, well, it's not going to add it's anything. It's full anyway, so right, right. now's the time, because That's you true. can't add beyond So maybe that. it is worth it to just get stunned. I mean, you're going to lose cards unless it's... Yeah, this is a problem. I need to acquire Mad-Eye. Do you have a Weasley in hand? I sure don't, because I had to get rid of cards. Awful. I might be able to get you one, though. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't know what to do here. Okay. You can't lose now. It's been like three hours. You turn red. All right, I'll get rid that of that way. then. I'll try and keep myself alive. <laughs> See you later, Ziggy Bobinator. So I still lose one from that. That is fine. Here we go. So let's go with all heroes draw a card first. Which okay. means I need to shuffle. Can we draw cards? Yeah. Okay. I was hoping that would yield better results for me. <laughs> We're not done yet. Do you have, how many cards do you have in hand? Four. Which means you probably can't get them. That's no good. Okay, what do we want? And when do we want it? <laughs> so let's start with, uh, no, you know what? Let's start with Hogwarts of History. I'm going to see if I can get you some more cards. There it is. Sweet. Everybody draw a card. All right. Okay, okay. I, l I see where that's going. Uh, do we have potential over there? Do you have a Weasley yet? No, I do not. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh, George Weasley says I get an attack. And... 
Yes, we definitely need to get rid of this. It's yeah, a problem. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to get you more cards right, because you it's have just, it's, you I'm have the better there. odds. I'm almost there. I literally yeah. need. You it, have it, the better odds. I do it. have something that could potentially help. So I'm gonna yeah. roll this and try and get more cards. No, I get a re-roll. Come on, no influence. Oh, so Brandon, you're moving to ah Alberta. Alberta is my home province. And you're buying games online from Cool Stuff. Yeah. So to influence. ordering from Cool Stuff to Canada. The shipping is ridiculous. It's not even the tax. You don't need to worry about that. Because with board games, and I know this because I have an American mailbox that I'll sometimes get games shipped to from cool stuff if required, and I'll pick them up in the States because it is extremely expensive <coughs> to ship games from cool stuff to Canada. That's what you need to be worried about is the shipping. So I have applied one here. I have three influence to spend. I get a discount on that because of my proficiency. Mm -hmm. I'll purchase that for three. That is me, which does mean we now need to look at this. Oh, here we go. On to the third location. We might not make it. We are so close. So the last location is the Great Hall. We're going to fight our way in there, but now we need three dark arts drawn every time. However, we do have a bit of room here, but you know, you've seen now that those can build up quite quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over to you. Oh, let's refill here. All right. So now I'm drawing three. All right, here we go. Uh, are we bringing him? No. no. If, 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 if he's, he's active there, there then... Might as well yeah. leave him. Dementor's Kiss, active hero loses... Oh, sorry, this should have actually gone here. Mm -hmm. Active hero loses two, all other heroes lose one health. One, two. Uh, next. Blast ended. The previous hero loses one health and discards a card. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bowie. Oh, for goodness sakes. Inquisitorial mm. Squad. Yep. Active hero puts a detention in their hand, then all heroes lose one health for each detention in hand. Nope, one point. So I'm going to lose one. Okay. Here, active hero loses one and discards a card. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. Oh, I cannot do it. Mind you, I'm almost wondering if I should discard this. I, I need the cards that are in my hand right now, so I'm actually going to take the hit. Okay, and keep in mind, you're going to be taking another hit. But I discarding. get this. Right, so that's a wash and an attack. I also, because I had to discard a card, get stunned. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, the detention went. So those on U uh, YouTube discarded the detention. <laughs> Now Michael is stunned yet again, so we're going to be adding so one here. I have to get rid of two cards. Uh, one. Oh. Yeah, so sorry. Oh, two. Okay. That happened. Carry on. All right, so this, we've take, did I take care yep. of this? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, okay so I need to get turn. this sorted here. So I need to... Okay, so i got to play this first. Draw two cards and discard any one. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> okay, um... Oh, that hurts. I can't do it. No, I can't. Mm. Oh, I can't take the hit either. The end of this game is where all of the, the big combinations are going to start happening. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm, I got to do it. I, I, I'm going to... This is going to hurt, but I got to do it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't play that yet. Um, and then I have this one here. Okay. Felix Lewis. So I can oh, gain fantastic. two attack or yeah, gain two yeah, influence yeah, yeah. or gain two blah, 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 blah. So, so there's the possibility of getting rid of this. So let me just draw the two cards yep. to start. So two choices on that item. Are you kidding me right now? Unbelievable. And health might be uh, yeah. good for you right now. So I'm going to take well. two. Yeah. Wow, this is not, I'm telling you right now, it is not going well. So draw a card. I need to draw a card. Yep. Like, Try and get the combos. That's fine. Purchasing, not as important right now. Card draw is important. 
Unbelievable. Okay. Gain an attack. Draw a card. Come on. Yes. Okay. But we're short. So you need one more. <laughs> you need one more ally. Is what you're saying, right? Yeah. So you've got two items. You've got two spells, and all she needs is two more two allies, and we'll be able to get rid of this uh, wow, this encounter. Oh, that's garbage! But I have nothing else to help me. Not even a die roll in there somewhere. Nothing. Okay. Not the right one. All right. Okay. Right, gotta well, do what I gotta do. Play it so out. let's play Fleur, and we'll gain two influence. Mm -hmm. And if you play another ally, which I won't be, so that doesn't matter. So close. Choose an ally you have played. So it'll just give me another two influence. Uh, this is just a detention. Can't yep. do anything with it. That's going to gain me one. This is also going to gain me one, but I get to put an item. If it's an item, it goes to the top of my deck. This is going to gain me an attack if I defeat a villain, which I will not. Mm -hmm. So let's just get these out of the way. I'm assuming we're still yep. going here. So that's three, which will all heroes gain a health, but you can't. Right, I'm stunned. Did you do all your stun stuff? Yes, we yep. did. Yep. Okay, just checking. Uh, one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, six, seven, and eight. I can get Alistair, which is a gain two, but I also get to remove one from the location. Sounds good. Okay, so. I'm one over, but That's there's right. nothing I can do with the other thing. So and any yes, evens, evens. In there. Get so some that's more health. one, two, three. So three. That's not bad. Which is something. So. Yeah. So I go back to full health. New card comes in. Yep. Okay, let's pick away at this. Yes, greatboardgames.ca is good. Um, cool stuff is great if you have a, like I have an American mailbox so I can head over the border and grab it. I don't think... Board Game Bliss is pretty good Board too. Game Bliss is a common one and they yeah, also they ship orders. to a lot of people. Exactly. So there's quite a few. Okay. Inquisitorial Squad. Active Hero puts a detention in their hand. Then all heroes lose one for each detention in hand. Oh, so no. I'm looking for detentions in my hand. Just I'm one. No, okay. I'm good. <laughs> I only have two cards <laughs> aside from that. Okay, this is looking good. Next up. Air of Slytherin means I have to roll. Yeah, no discarding of cards right now, please. Uh, that's going to be adding one to the location. I'm going to say no to that. Okay. Okay. Rerolling. Ah, that is adding one to the location. <laughs> I tried. All right. Uh, that's scary. And one more. Avada Kedavra. Active hero loses three and draw an additional because wow. it's fun. Slugulous. Eructo. All heroes lose one for each creature in play. There are no creatures. Okay, so we're good. Okay, I lose one and I need to discard <laughs> one of the two cards that I had. Really? How's your hand looking? It's Is there a potential there? Yes. There's, if I can pull one more particular card, it would be very good. Okay. I'm going to discard Detention then and take another two health hit. There's also 401 games one. as well. Okay. I'm, I'm going to keep trying to help you. So first off, I'm going to play Turgio, which mm -hmm. lets me dis, uh, banish a card. Okay. So that's gone. And if it's an item, I get to draw a card. <sighs> Crap. Okay. <laughs> uh, Hogwarts, a history, says I get to choose a house die. I don't want that. Reroll. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so we're getting a really? Influence. We're getting an influence, yep. Uh, yeah. Oh, Meeple Mart's another one, yep. Thanks. Wow, so that's my turn. I get one more influence. I, I shop them all and see what, what deals are happening. Two influence, two influence, nothing, that's me. Ugh. Brutal. Oh, Overdue. thanks for joining us, Jamie. We're so close. I'm sorry. We're yeah, like, we're, we're almost we're, we're there. We're there. We're getting there. Over to you. All right. Uh, yeah, Board Game Bliss is good in Canada, and they also do the U.S., so they service the U.S. as well. Okay. I tried my best to get your cards. Nothing happened. That's okay. I'm ho oops, hoping that'll happen here. Okay. Imperio, active hero loses another, uh, chooses another hero to lose two health. I'm Reveal an additional dark arts done. card. So, hold oh, on. It's done, and let me add this while I remember. Why not? Um, okay. Okay, and I added that. We're okay. good. Next. He who must not be named, add one to the location. Oh, no. Wow, this is going downhill very quickly. It is. 
Active Imperio, active hero chooses another hero to to lose to health. That's Reveal fine. an additional arts card. <clears throat> Same thing. Reveal <laughs> another card. Oh, man. Oh, At least boy. I can't lose any health, so that's fine. All heroes lose one health for nope. each. Oops, sorry. For each card in hand with a value of exactly three. So actually, I lose nothing. Okay. <sighs> Poison. All heroes choose one. Discard an ally or lose two health. Oh. I need to just lose the two health at this point. I have point. no allies. That's fine. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you discard anything? I don't think so. No. All right. I have not. And that's fine. I need to do this. Yep. So this, dis oh, oh, which will make you discard a card. Which will make me discard, at least if I can find one that's, okay, well, I guess I'll just do this. Okay, and because I did that, I get to gain an attack and a health. But then you lose the health. But then I lose the health. Yep. And then that doesn't happen. So. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so, oh, this is so, Brr. okay, let's play this item first. So, choose two. So basically, I'm going to start by drawing two cards. Yep. Not what I was going for at all. That's garbage. Ugh. Okay. Let's do... Let's play Cho. Draw three cards. Before oh. you carry on. Yes. Did you do a second option on that? Oh, I'm sorry. I did not. So I think we want to take attack, I'm assuming. I don't know. I don't know. I think at this point, health... Because every time we get stunned, it's another one here. Okay, I can I think, take health. I think you might want to keep yourself alive. Okay. We're not going to get the benefit if we kill him, right? That's true. So let's do that then. So now here I get to draw three cards. One, yes. two, three, which is perfection. And perfection, I get to... Perfection, perfection? Like, are we talking serious perfection? No, this is good. Discard any two, uh, any two cards. Okay, so I'm going to discard Gilderoy Lockhart. Um, I get to draw a card, yep. so I have to, and then this happens. No, sorry, it does not. That's when it's dark cards. Never mind. Forget uh, what I just said. But discard two cards first. Yeah. Oh, before I do this, right. yes, because yeah. it might go back in here. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I can't discard that. I have. Oh, that's not great. But yeah. Okay, that's right. Okay, here we go. We're getting to it. Do you actually have? Do you do? You, do you have? I that? did. Until that happened. Oh, really? Yeah. What do you need? Spell? Yeah. So how many did I get to draw? One card? Yeah. Okay, so I'm drawing a card? Yeah. Okay. No? No, but I gotta roll this anyway. Okay. Ooh. Okay, take your attack. <laughs> You haven't done her ability yet, though, have you? Did, I, yeah, did I drew, you? Yeah, I did. I drew three cards. I did. Oh, right. It was the discard that then yeah. drew another card. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> this is so bad. <clears throat> okay, well, wait. There's more. Okay. Okay. Well, I have two of these, which are items, technically, but they're there. Dobby, don't fail me now. Remove one from the location. Okay, that's good. And draw a card. Unbelievable. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Gain an influence. Gain two attack. Mm. Well, also gain two influence if I defeat a villain. Which I can do. Oh, here. here. Okay. So one... To, well, I won't have enough. Oh, right. yes, I will. Yep. Hold on. Let me play Sirius, which is going to be two attack and one influence. One. Because right now he's two, making us discard three, and he's hurting four, us when we discard. So. so five here. Yep. Okay, so that's just gone. We don't get the benefit, unfortunately. Correct. Um, but because of that, I gain another two influence. Yep. Because of that card I had, I'll assign this to here. It's mm -hmm. not going to kill him. So I have five. Um, any two heroes each gain one influence and draw a card. This is gain one attack. Any one hero gains three health. <sighs> but this drawing a card business Yeah, we need to, to draw be, cards to yeah, try and get so that I'll combination. So we'll take that. Pay the five. Yep. Wow. We're almost mm -hmm. there. One way or another, we're almost there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how well. We'll see. Oh, wait. And health. 
All right. So one, two, three. So three health. Okay, and it'll be for you because I was stunned yep. that round, so, so I go to full. Yep. And this replenishes. Okay, here we go. Three cards. Raging Troll. The next hero loses two. That would be me. And add one control token to the location. That's no good. Mosmodre. All heroes lose one. Mm -hmm. And add one to the location. And because that's out, all heroes lose one. Oh, this is not good. Lastly, Crucio. Active hero loses one and reveal an additional Dark Arts card. Hand of Glory. Active hero loses one and add one to the location. Oh my gosh. So if you're all watching this. We're within one now. We are very close to death. And then <laughs> I lose one and have to discard a card of the three that I have. <laughs> uh, I have to keep this. When did that get? Oh, that came out after. Yeah. Um, about that. Okay. I'm going to discard that. Okay, I get to play my two cards now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with the Tergio first, which lets me banish a card. So I'm going to get rid of the detention, and if it is an item, I get to draw a card, so that's mm -hmm. good. Okay, choose uh, one, gain two or draw a card. Gaining two influence is no good right now. I'm just going to draw a card. I'm looking yeah. for ways to help you out. Okay, let's go with Hogwarts of History. I'm going to see if I can get some card draw going here. Nope. Really? 50-50? Come on, there oh, it is. Okay. So Everybody draws card. a card. Yeah, okay, that's good, that's good. Sword of Gryffindor. Nice. So gain two attack. Yes, we definitely need lots of look at control token removal. And I get to roll this twice now with the Sword ah, of Gryffindor. Ah, okay, okay. So I'm just going to go for card draw. So still the re-roll of the first roll. Okay, so we're getting... We each take health. Health, okay. And now second roll. Ah, come on, card draw. Oh, we each get influence. Influence, that's ah, something. All right. Okay. Lastly, I've got Cedric Diggory. Gain one attack. Okay. And roll the... The Hufflepuff? Hufflepuff, thank you. <laughs> come on, card draw. There it is. Okay. Everybody draw a card. Okay. Something. Not giving up yet. And that's where I stop with just. That's okay. I have something influence. potentially that could help me out here. Two influence well, you does could kill nothing. Him. So I'll just ditch that. And then, uh, yeah. And that's all I can do. Yep. Because these. So I do have two attack left over. I cannot assign that to Lord Voldemort until we get rid of that encounter. So that's wasted. These are gone. Nothing happens there. And. <laughs> <laughs> all right and is it my uh, turn it is your turn all right so i'm still drawing three so here we are we're getting there <clears throat> okay raging troll the next hero loses two health add one control token to the location okay oh boy so you're losing two and that's happening Come on, Dobby. Okay. <laughs> All heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. Oh, that is punishing. That's a problem. That is punishing. Oh, my goodness. So maybe we should put that one on top. Oh, guess what? Add one to the location. That's fine. But that it's fine. Matter. I'm going to put yeah. this one on top yep. just so we can remember. No card remember. draw. Okay. Active hero loses one and discards a card. Let me just see if there's... Anything that, that is a bad time for no card um, draw. It is actually <laughs> because I literally had the best cards ever. So discarding a card allows me. This still happens though. I can still gain yep. my attack yep. and my health. Oh my goodness, that sucks. All right, well, Fleur is on her own. And did you do the lose one? I and, did. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I gained two. And. <laughs> game over <laughs> if you play another ally which i don't have so that's not gonna happen yep. actually you know what that's not true so no it is true because this card is useless i cannot draw any cards mm -hmm. here i get to gain an attack ah oh, that was poorly timed it was not i'm not very happy look do you have a way to gain remove two this? attack no Oh, so it is the, game over the whole then. point it was to then. it yeah. is because I, I I was hoping to pull cards. Oh, we were so close there. And I was gonna finish it out to gain my two. Sure. Gain two influence. Make me feel better about myself. <laughs> All these drawing cards and I can't. 
But yeah, if you can't get rid of this, it, it doesn't matter because and there's nowhere to assign one. attack. There's yeah. So I just finished my hand, <laughs> but as you can see with my crystal ball. Now, yeah, if <laughs> if it was not for that no drawing of cards this turn, yeah, there was still a decent chance we could do I this probably because could have removed you were going to get a bunch of card draw. You probably could have removed this. And if you had Dobby, I think you've got a couple cards in your deck right now that remove these. Yeah. It would still have to be remove these or right. get rid of that and kill him the same but turn. Still, which is possible. You've done right. some very large damage in one turn in the past with drawing a bunch of cards and getting the combinations going. So we'll switch, uh, oh, we'll brutal. switch over. Oh, all right. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. So we were so, so close. close. So if you haven't figured it out yet, yes, we died. <laughs> because we would not have been able to resolve uh, the location. Uh, and that's it. Game over. So, yeah. Oh, so close. So close. I had the best cards ever. Anyways, I had multiple cards to draw. And because of the Dark Arts card, I couldn't draw a darn thing. So, yeah. So there you go. We did Brutal. not get through it. <laughs> but, but so close. Like, oh, yeah. It was just that that stopped us. Yeah. Mm. So fun game. Really it enjoyed is. it. And, you know, somebody was asking earlier about um, replayability. Obviously, there's a very good puzzle here. There's a good game here. It is, it is replayable. It's replayable just like any other deck builder, for sure. Exactly. So I enjoyed the Terry Potter theme, so of course I'm going to enjoy it. Um, but it, there is actually a good game here. As you can see, the uh, expansion makes it extremely hard and mm -hmm. now that we've had this corrected with Voldemort that mm -hmm. will also really as you can see increase the difficulty in the game. I don't know how big of a difference that would have made before. I don't think it's huge it's before like maybe hard now but in the beginning yeah exactly but at but least we know. The expansion definitely it up. Yeah it's the expansion that. that does it yeah. So mm -hmm. definitely a game that I'm hoping that we can get through more of this. Yeah. Um, see if we can pass it because uh, yeah that didn't go so well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for uh, well thanks everyone for you know sticking with us and it was a longer stream but we yep. really want to give a thorough explanation and glad that we were able to answer some questions to boot mm -hmm. um i know somebody asked about two player games quickly before we do some sign off stuff here um i know santorini was mentioned which is great i just played that again yep not so long ago i own it i don't generally have a lot of two player <clears throat> games akrotiri is one that i have that i really enjoy i'd like to play it a bit more yeah, I, I actually have the Zeus edition of Santorini, and if you look in the storybook, my yep. name is the first listed in the credits there as well. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, other two-player games. Uh, I used to be deeply into Netrunner. Yeah, so I'm that's that almost a lifestyle game, though. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to get deeply into it, uh, what else? Any deck builder, any competitive deck builder, like Star Realms. Star Realms, Hero Realms, plays, well. um, plays really well. Two players. Blood of an Englishman, I have it on the pile. I haven't played it yet, but I have heard it's a really good one. Mm -hmm. So that's a Renegade Games. Um, yeah. So that's I can think of it for now, but if you want to send us an email. I know I'm forgetting stuff. Because yeah, I, oh, me too. Because I, I've got a pile of two-player games and I'm just drawing a blank And right I feel now. like we've played two-player games. My mind is still stuck on, really? <laughs> really? So close? But Seven sorry. Wonders <laughs> Duel and I don't have a good friendship. It is a good game, but last time I played that, my friend blocked me mm -hmm. from getting, um, I forget what the resource was, but yeah, I did not do well in that game. <laughs> but it's a good game. It's a good game. So I think that's it for now, but if anybody has any more questions, <laughs> game um, uh, requests, you can send it to michaelandmandyplay at gmail.com and we yep. will definitely look into it and see what we can do. Yep. Uh, for those of you who are looking for me in other places, I do the podcast every second week with Miss Suzanne Sheldon. And uh, that'll be coming up, I guess, the following week when this is aired. And um, yeah, probably see me at some of the cons and stuff coming up. And we'll definitely talk about that a little bit more. Um, Kickstarter. I know when this airs, that will still be going. So if you haven't checked out the Dice Tower Kickstarter, <laughs> check it out. And, yep. you know, we appreciate it. Even if it's just a dollar or just to have a comment to say, hey, so we support you. That's awesome, too. And we really appreciate it. And I saw a lot of that in the chat. So thank you. Dice Tower thank very you. much appreciates it. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add? Really? I know. <laughs> it's, a lo it's hard. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, just in terms of just this game, even the, the base game itself, um, like I said at the start, great for getting somebody into their first deck builder because it has that gentle 
gradual build with uh, with rules. You start off very basic. If you've played deck builders before, you go straight into game three and then can carry on from there. So it is a great way to introduce people to deck builders that have not played deck builders before. Exactly. Yeah. So again, a game we enjoyed. I definitely need to try it out. Now we will definitely want to play this again. Yes. Try and beat this. I do not accept that. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> it's, it hurts actually just a little bit. So yeah. <laughs> yes, Hero Realms is another one. We yeah. played quite. We played. We did a live stream. We did a stream of that, and that was a lot of fun. Actually, of we started the, playing in the campaign. The campaign. It was really, really good. So yes, good suggestion. Who suggested yep. that, Mark? So thank you. That's a good one. Yeah, Hero Realms, Star Realms. I play the Star Realms app on a daily basis. Yeah, and that's not an exaggeration. Daily, yeah. I'm playing. That. It's easy to yeah. just toss in there, so it's really good. Um, Patchwork is still one of my favorites, to be honest. Oh, I play it with thank my you. yeah. That's, Patchwork's yeah. a great one. I play it with my mom all the time. Yeah, uh, she loves it. She kicks my butt. And. Uh, <laughs> There's even games like like Azul. I've only been able to play Azul. the one oh, time with you. Azul is great. I know it's player. not a two-player game, but it's games like that. I prefer at a two-player count because that ups the strategy behind it. You have more yeah. control because you're playing every second, every second Those turn. Those definitely get a bit more cutthroat. Too. Yeah, and and I love I love the strategy behind it at that point. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to make sure here. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's good. So. Conditions, everything is going well for the next stream. I'm just going to say the next stream because <laughs> who knows what's going to happen between now and then. We are looking at potentially doing Dinosaur Island. Yes. So look for that. And I've spoken to Jonathan Gilmore, who's the designer of the game, and he is hoping to pop in and say a little hi to everybody in the chat. So Excellent. keep you posted on that. So take a look at um, Twitter. I always announce these things on Board Gamer Pinup. And I know Paulum21. Yep. yep. Palm uh, on Instagram, P A W L O M, Palm21 on Twitter. That's it. So thank you for sticking with us to thank the end, even much. though we yes. bit the big one. Wanted to get you the win. So close. <laughs> but yeah, can't uh, win them all, right? Exactly. Yep. So that's it. And uh, like I said, email us if there's anything. And um, yeah, we'll see you in uh, ah, Dinosaur Island. All right. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Bye. Bye.